we're live. We're live. Yay! Ah! We're back, baby. Look, here we are. It's us again. Hi, look. Uh yeah. Hi, we are Slugfax Games. Uh, we make the Red Dragon Inn, Battle for Greyport, and Dungeon Decorators and all sorts of stuff. And thank you for joining us. Uh, we are we yeah, we are back streaming after our summer long hiatus. Uh, I'm Jeff Morrow. I'm here with Jen Kitzman and Sam Waller. And uh, today we are first here to say thank you all very, 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 very much for your support on our Kickstarter that launched yesterday. Uh, it is going extremely well and we have you all to thank for it. Uh, now, because we have this Kickstarter campaign going on, we are going to play the game that the Kickstarter is happening uh, for, for your enjoyment. Um, but first, hello, welcome everybody. Uh, you know, the, the point of this is to ask questions and, and say stuff in the chat. So, so feel free to ask all the questions you might have. And uh, yeah, um, first, you know, I, I don't know, let's, uh, let's catch up on the summer. Jen, give us your summer highlights. Oh, man. Well, I moved across country. As you might see, the, the background of my office is different. And it's actually my office and not just a weird angle on my bedroom. <laughs> which is pretty cool. Uh, I moved from Colorado to Michigan. So it's been very nice being someplace that isn't a desert. Uh, I, I recommend it. There are green things. It's quite nice. Um, not living nestled between like a six lane highway and a busy freight rail path was very nice. Uh, it's nice going from that to just Michigan anywhere really that isn't <laughs> like right up against a cement, uh, noise abatement barrier. Uh, so it's a lot, it's a lot more quiet is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, let's see. And then, yeah, Gen Con happened. Uh, and I think we did all right. It was fun. Uh, it was, it was fun. Yeah, actually. I, I had a certain amount of energy at the show, which is unheard of. Golly. Even though basically I turned right around from moving to doing Gen Con. It was like a two week turnaround. So it wasn't nightmare fuel, but so stressful. Mm -hmm. uh, we see a, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, old old names in the uh, in the chat. Hello, Demystic. Hello, Bottled Monkey, which I know is now pronounced Bottled Monkey because, as Bottled Monkey said in the chat, we met at Gen Con mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago. Demystic, everybody, uh, yeah. Uh, cool. uh, welcome, 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 Sam. What's uh, what's your summer update? Uh, uh, my my wife's been in summer school, and uh, it's mostly sucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, or Leslie. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna also gloss over a lot of my summer. Um, uh, there there was some there was a lot of travel. Uh, we did a couple of cons, but yeah, there was for both Sam and me. There was some family stuff that we're not gonna go into here. Um, uh, but uh, but um, uh. Since you last saw us, both Sam and I have had COVID. So yeah. That's cool, I guess. <laughs> Me, um, most recently. I got yes. my Rona before they did. <laughs> it's, it's true. Um, I'm the uh, hipster. Anyway, so, so yes, part of the reason, part of the reason was... <laughs> Got Corona before it was cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, uh, so, so yes, part of the reason, part of the reason we actually went dark for the summer is because, like, life kind of kicked us all in the nuts. Um, so, so, but anyway, we're super happy to be back uh, and and play some games for y'all. Um, yeah. So, so new Kickstarter. Yes, we just launched it. Chat it was my like fourth dose <laughs> yes <coughs> so um uh oh, you see he's still he's still even coughing a little bit um, even eagerly uh, awaiting my fifth i'll tell you all that <laughs> nice uh let's see so yes kickstarter launched yesterday an expansion to our cooperative deck building game battle for grayport it has so far shattered our expectations we so so i'll, I'll be we're at about sixty five thousand right now on the campaign the campaign goal is forty five thousand. this is astoundingly good we coming into this project we were like well okay the last 
the last uh, kick, uh, the last uh, Battle for Greyport expansion we did, Pirates, was, you know, on day one, we got like 15,000 or something like that. And then it slowed down a bit. And then we ended the campaign at about 51. And so we were like, okay, that's pretty good. Um, that'll, that'll, you know, uh, the campaign, if the campaign goal is 45, we'll, we'll fund and it'll be like that and it'll be great. Yeah. And, you know, less than 24 hours into the project where we've already blown past everything um, pirates did. So now we're like, huh, literally we need some stretch goals. The, yeah. <laughs> the email churn slowed down enough. So I was like, okay, guys, I'm leaving y'all in the discord. I got to run some errands. Uh, She's talking about us. She left. She left me and Sam. Yes. Uh, when we launch a Kickstarter, we kind of do a war room kind of thing. We just get on Discord and kind of stay there so that we can type at each other, which we don't normally do actually. But during a Kickstarter, we we do. So anyway, <laughs> that's what Jen's talking about. Go yeah, on, Jen. Yeah. Uh, so I, I leave for my errands in the knowledge that if something that I need to panic about happens, I will be texted in some way, right? So I go. I do my errands which take a little longer than they needed to because uh, there was a sudden rainstorm that I needed to go hide from inside of a Michael's. <laughs> oh, yay. Uh, Jen, Jen does most things on her bike. But yes. Benny, you get to hide in a Michael's. I, I came away with paintbrushes, so uh, <laughs> the, the sickness is still there. Uh, <laughs> and then I get home, and I see a little Discord notification. It's like, we funded. I'm like, shut up. No, we didn't. And uh, no, I was the one who had to shut up because we did. Yeah, I, I replied, you shut up. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, um, there, there we are. So first of all, thank you all. And uh, second of all, we're going to show you this thing and we're going to show you why, why the new thing is cool and why those of you who might still be undecided in the chat should get into Kickstarter and then and back it right mm -hmm. now. Anyway, um, yes, Tarek Terran Gen Con was uh, was a lot of fun. Bottle Mug, yeah, I think you've y'all gotten a little more popular since then. Yeah, so apparently, um, uh, you know, you, you like us. You really like us, as the saying goes. Um, so, uh, as usual, um, keep the questions coming. We uh, These streams are always more interesting when the chat is, you know, helping us out and... and and saying things and asking things and so forth. So, um, let's start with uh, since this since this video is going to end up on on YouTube as well. Uh, hey, it's Dead Aussie Gamer. Hello, Dead Aussie. Hey there. Uh, what's your favorite art so far? Do you a civic vortex? vortex? Do you mean do you mean like in the world or in in the <laughs> Red Dragon in, in the Red Dragon in games or in the uh i think the art is mean, work in progress they mean whatever in, in, in this, yeah, this yeah, so yeah, far yeah yeah in this so far vortex is is trying to keep the context nice and manageable <laughs> that's uh, a good question i think i kind of like that rust monster that, yeah that rust uh, monster is pretty sweet here i'll go find so, one from the advanced uh, deck right let's see what else you know what? Actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna renege on that and say that my actual uh, favorite art is this one right here. Zoom, enhance. Hmm. These are both. Until these are both the pretty screen. great, though. Man, yeah. The, the, no, there's some. Uh, so, by uh, the way, the artist, yeah. the artist on this is is Megan Langan, who uh, who uh, she did pirates. She did. She's done several RDI characters. Uh, and she's friggin' great. Like so, all of the items and icons and some of the monsters and tails. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. She, she did a lot of work on tails. You'll see, you'll see more wow. of her work there. Some of the characters. Uh, I think my favorite is the Mecha Sprinter, but that's only because she's yeah, so good. she's so fun to include in marketing materials. Yes. Uh, -huh. uh That's. You know, it's, it's focused in my wheelhouse, so uh, that's, that's why I like her best. But uh, going up to D1 Layman, uh, saying that they loved the metal coins, the metal coins art design is very good. Um, 
I was, I was a little dubious about putting a whole lot of texture on coins for the, uh, for the battle for great port coins, but uh, they look good. Yes. Yeah. Those are so good. I, I actually, we have, have a, we have a prototype, yet? not yet, but, but I, I want them. I, I don't usually, so I've been in the games industry long enough that I'm like jaded about this kind of stuff. It's like, ah, I don't care. I just want to play the games and whatever. Right. But like, these are mm, even, even jaded Jeff is like, no, I, I want, I want to play with these coins. These are cool. <laughs> so, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dead Aussie Gamer asks, uh, I love the expansion. Is there going to be any additives to tales from this Kickstarter? No, uh, no. Um, mainly, mainly because they're just, they're too close together. We, you know, we, yeah. we, we need uh, we we want to see you know we want tales to succeed on its own and you know and see see what happens first like it is in our opinion much too early to start throwing more bonus content at, at that project. What um what some of you don't uh, may not know is that in addition to like when I'm not answering questions on the Kickstarter, I'm basically going into Adobe InDesign and editing rules documents for tales and making sure that everything uh, it explains this this large and and complicated game properly. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Vortex says I use Slugfest RDI coins for my RPGs. I've got the rounds and all the mm -hmm. racial coins. Uh, they're they're one of my favorite game components. So chunky. Yeah, those those like coins of the world. Again, oh yeah, designed by Megan Langan. So so everybody uh, everybody shout out. Uh, you know, thumbs up for Megan in the chat. Um, but uh, but yeah, those uh, those coins of the world are good. We sold a whole bunch of them at Gen Con actually. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that Megan Langan's designs coupled with uh, the campaign coins team's rabid dedication to quality, mm. frankly, so just, just makes them real good, real, real good. Yeah, we got we got a lot of we got a lot of uh, talented people uh, in our in our in our immediate circle that can make all this all this stuff. Uh, uh, go go come true well monkey you sold out of them didn't you we did not sell out of the coins of the world we did sell out of the gambling in out coins and the um uh the who's in control coins. yeah yeah those those just those just flew off the shelves um but the the bigger the bigger more expensive sets we we actually didn't sell out of but uh, but but we're fine because we'll sell them eventually mm -hmm. so. yep all right uh all right, let's let's do this. Let's let's do this thing. So let's, as I was saying before, um, because this is going to end up on YouTube, we're going to give a brief description. We're not going to explain everything about Battle for Greatport, but we're going to give the the brief idea. So you'll notice here on the on the table that Sam has set up. We've uh, basically we've all got a bunch of monsters. There there are monsters in front of each of us. There are monsters on the location. These are determined by the the scenario and the the encounters that we're doing. And there's um, a monster inside of each of us. Determined by our dark dark past. <laughs> shout out, Jed. Uh, so, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so so. What we're trying to do is we're trying for, well, we're trying to basically defeat all the monsters and not die. Um, like, like so many games of this ilk, but in addition, in, there's in the reverse order, but yes, uh, correct. Yes. <laughs> um, we're, trying, um, we're also trying tentatively to save the location. Now in most scenarios, uh, the location burning down doesn't make you lose, but in all cases, it does make something kind of bad happen. So in addition to uh, managing our own health totals, we got to manage the, the location's health total. Um, the, uh, let's see, every, <clears throat> every scenario uses different monsters. And in this expansion that we're, that we're kickstarting, the, uh, the big new thing is these monsters that carry their own items with them. Ooh, so uh, why is that macaroon. cool? Well, if you're if you're new to if you're new to Battle for Glory Port, you'll know that the core mechanic is on each turn, each player may play one hero and equip that hero with one item. Normally, monsters don't have items. That's the new thing in this set is that the monsters have items that give them bonuses as well. And when we take out a monster, 
we get their item for ourselves. Okay, so that's that's the cool new thing in this set. And you'll notice that of the monsters we dealt out this this round, almost all of them actually have that little uh, gear on a red background, which says, "Hey, this dude gets a gets an item, gets a contraption." They're called. Ding, ding, ding. So that's what's happening. And all the contraptions, while they're in their monster mode, they are giving the monster, they're making the monsters nastier for us. But once we take out the monster, we get the items ourselves. Um, so for those, again, correct, Terran, little, Terran, they do get toys. They do get toys. And then <laughs> if we beat them up, we, we take get their the, toys. We take their toys. Um, as I said, on each turn, everybody can play one hero and equip it with one item, but the active player is the one whose monsters were fighting on any given turn. The active player right now is Jen. She has this turn marker that uh, uh, we just randomly determined at the start of the game. You can The rules say you can actually uh, get some information and then pick who goes first, but we just did it randomly. Um, so here's the here's the important part to remember for those of you who haven't played battle for great Book before every turn the active monsters the the monsters in front of the active player are going to deal damage to that player at the end of the turn and the location monsters are going to deal damage to the location every turn and then at the end of the round the active player gets to recruit something you know a better card for their deck and refill their hand crucially the other players do not get to do that until their own turn and so hand management is really important in this game and it's kind of the thing that makes i don't know that kind of makes this game sing in my opinion so um it so that's, so that's that the main idea. you <clears throat> always get an opportunity to come in and rescue your friend so that uh -huh. they feel obligated to come in and rescue you because you blew all your cards earlier when when but new, rescuing when new somebody players, feels good <laughs> when new players so we've seen cases where new players come to this game and they're like i'm not i'm not playing anything then i then i'm gonna die and no if everybody hoards their cards and doesn't help each other out you will lose full stop mm -hmm. so um so here we are on jen's turn Eve's it's big turn. c cooperative not little c cooperative <laughs> Here we are in Jen's turn, so we can all fight these monsters. Now, you'll notice one of them is a tank. Tank means you have to beat this guy up before you can beat up the other guys in this group. In fact, it's a tank with tank. With a nope. tank. It is a steam yes. tank with tank and armor. I and mean, no art yet, but there if, is. <laughs> if we didn't give the steam tank the tank property, what would we have become? Exactly. So the <laughs> tank property <laughs> is the one that blue banner written at the bottom of the card mm -hmm. yep yep there's another type of blue banner that uh it's a yellow that we'll see later oh is it yellow oh, okay Ooh, it's orange ranged hang on you're D1, orange for range d1 lehman says that's the problem with my game of friends they want to hoard their cards yeah that's really bad in this game but however <laughs> d1 lehman are you the person who has consistently done well at our gen con doppelganger tournaments because I feel like <laughs> that name might be that person. So let us know in the chat. Uh, D Mystics' oh, yeah. uh, emoji game's real good today. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, that? confirm. Uh, Vort yes, okay, hello, hello D1 Lima. So this guy, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually crow about this guy because this guy single-handedly proves that the Red Dragon Inn is a skill game. This guy has made the final table of our Gen Con Doppelganger tournament like three times. This guy is really good. So, so welcome, D1 <laughs> Uh So, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, Jeff got to bring like a steel trap, man. Oh, this Just... guy. So, so here's the thing. So. <laughs> For in recent Gen Cons, we haven't done the Doppelganger tournament anymore. That's kind of partly because COVID, partly because, you know, staffing, COVID, basically COVID made staffing really hard. And so we, we stopped doing that. But for years, we used to do a G Doppelganger tournament. And it was always fascinating to watch, uh, to walk through the, the event and have uh, people go um, 
you can see you can spot the you can spot the really good RDI players uh, be, after a few rounds because they're the ones whose decks are really short, right? Because <laughs> uh, because the uh, ones who really milled their hands. Because right, because the really good players are the ones that d- know that the discard and draw phase is actually the most important phase in a game of Red Dragon Inn. So, so yes, D1 Lehman, welcome. You're awesome. Uh, okay, here back to the back to this though. Uh, Vortak, oh dang, I've been playing so that all players draw attack and are attacked every turn. Okay, Whoops. so two reasons. So <laughs> that makes it both easier and harder, <laughs> right? Harder because <laughs> everyone gets attacked but easier because everyone also gets to redraw. No, uh, the hand management is the crucial bit here. Only the active player gets attacked, uh, but only the active player can refill their hand. Now, the location gets attacked every round, so that's why that's important to uh, to manage. Um, okay, going, wow, we got a lot of chat. Thank you all. Um, Mr. Draco, any plans on extending the contraptions mechanic to the base set in the Pyrus expansion? We have tested that. It doesn't work very well. Um, Sam has some ideas that we're talking about tomorrow for possible stretch goals. But in general, um, the main problem is the contraption mechanic. When, once you're putting mo- uh, items on monsters, you are uh, you are massively... You're scrambling the game, really, right? You're making the game have much higher variance. Um, and unfortunately, is, and so to compensate for that, the the construct monsters that we've made have a somewhat narrower variance uh, mm-hmm. so, that, so that you don't get totally blown out depending on which item gets on which monster. Since we did not do that with previous monster decks, if you put contraptions on older stuff, you can end up in nearly impossible situations you can end up in in situations that we think will make players table flip so yes we've tried that it doesn't work very well we're considering possibilities but it it probably isn't going to work out to have contraptions just flying every which way and going on whatever monsters um okay oh my god i thought the game was nearly impossible at high levels well uh, maybe maybe the reason everybody thinks the game is so hard is because we never explain the rules properly. I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I, I take full responsibility for either of those problems. So there we go. Uh, back to the game. Sorry, I'm talking too much. Jen and Sam should tell me to shut up. Eh, um, it's fine. Good. It's all right. We're, we're talking um, about I've got rules. My whiskey. I, can I got keep... my sake. I, I am drinking some cider. Today I'm drinking... Forbidden fruit pineapple rose cider, and I gotta say, it's not hitting me very hard, so I might go down and get another cider. Oh. Uh, and then, right, and then in, in toward the end of the game, she'll be like, I'll tell you a, a contraption, I'll contraption <laughs> you, yeah, right up your nose. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, okay, uh, let's. Let's dive in here. Right. Unfortunately, yeah. this 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 first round loadout is is rough, super rough. Eve's Eve's about to have a bad time. Is Eve's about uh, to have a bad time, and then we're going to recruit things and make her have a better time. That's oh, we that's the spirit. How we positive! Didn't each other on our own team so that we can peek at each other's hands. Oh well, we <laughs> cur- certainly sure. couldn't do that now. Sure. Uh, uh, I, I can attempt to gog a steam tank let's, and see let's if be I a bunch of diamonds. Do We're going to damage. damage. I'm going to yeah. damage everybody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gog. I mean, gog. Gog is our gog is our only hope right now. Uh, yeah. or, or we just let Eve take three. Uh, mm. Yeah. I mean. You yeah. know what? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I, I forgot. Wait oh. a minute. I'm, I, oh. Oh, wait, I'm you're playing Liswick. I, I forgot. I'm playing Liswick, and Sam just completely changed Liswick. So I'm thinking, <laughs> oh, well, we're screwed. No. Sam redesigned Liswick yesterday to a to to be a character who is who is chef's kiss perfect for this hey. situation. Hey. Now, hey. my life is gonna suck. Uh, if we don't, if we don't do this right, yeah. However, but then I can gog your. Which wick is Liswick's sister? <laughs> Liswick, <Wizwick. laughs> or maybe it's her brother. I don't know. Liswick, nice. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play Liswick. 
which now says you may recruit an item for the re reinforcements. You must spend a recruitment coin as normal. I get kunai because of course I do. Ah, not not big old beat stick. It's uh, not the no, not yet. Oh, is it? Ah, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, I get the yeah. kunai. I play the kunai. Mm -hmm. I taunt this tank. Do I taunt the tank or do I taunt the other guy and we beat up on the tank? Uh, probably taunt the uh, taunting the tank will only only delay the inevitable and make yeah. make it really bad on your turn. Yeah, my, my yeah. turn will, will. This rogue is awful. Uh, mm, yes. Yeah. Um. Do <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. I take I take the techno mage. Um. Then I bash the tank for yellow plus two. Get him. Roll well on this six sided die that maxes plus two is four. All right. Uh, for those of you who have not played armor. Battle for Grape the yellow die says, did I? I did the armor. Oh. Sam, Sam doesn't understand that I've been playing this a, a lot lately, too. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, where, where was I going with this? Yeah, so for those of you new to Battle for Grape the yellow die is one, two, two, three, three, four. The white die is one, two, three, four, five, six, just a normal D6. The green die, which we'll deal with later, uh, except Gog, no, Gog is with it right now, um, is four, <laughs> five, six, six, seven, eight. So, so hooray, I have done damage to the steam tank. Yes. Everybody can play a hero and an item on everyone's turn, and they may play these things in any order they want. So you can can play something you can resolve their ability you can do something else you can the first player can fight then the other player can fight it's all yeah. it's all crazy jen do you want me to gog now or gog later i feel like gogging <sighs> on Liswick's churn is probably more profitable probably let's let's see what happens gosh it feels kind of like a waste to use eve right now Eh, but you'll get her back. I get her back at the end of the turn. turn, so I got us. So it's my turn. So here we go. Uh, so if it wasn't my turn, I would draw a card, but I also get to play another hero, and that hero is going to be a soldier with a short sword. With a stabby stick. With a stabby Wait, no, stick. No, that's the stabby stick. The stabby there, stick there actually is, exists stabby now. Stick. Yes. <laughs> in fact, a stabby stick. <laughs> yep, yep. All right. Well, let's let's have Eve try to walk this steam tank with some magic. Let's and see I'll some big numbers. Pat the Go card. Eve. Go Eve. Go Eve. Come on. Ah, oh, yeah. oh. Oh. Did you see that? It was trying. It was trying. Oh, really I wanted to so bad. Uh, somebody else put a damage token on because, in fact, instead of a damage token, I see a black featureless square. Ah, very good. Really? Yep. Yeah. Um, I, I will go ahead and Acolyte one because I've got three heroes and three weapons, so I might as well use them on these three turns we have. Ping, ping. Yep, and I'll I'll have my, my little soldier ping here, too. So What's that guy? It's six. If he didn't have that armor. Are, if he didn't have armor's that armor, are, we'd be in a good spot. Armor's Even, a kitten. Yep. Kittens. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, I'm doing pretty go good back, so far. Going back to chat here. Uh, Lizard is one of my favorite RDI characters. Yes, she's awesome. She's so cool. She's cute hair. Fireworks. <laughs> yes, there was a, like, literally down my block. Like, I could see the, the smoke <laughs> from the, the things. Because also, it's full daylight, so why do it? Must be uh, the police or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, D1 Lehman asks, how much damage is the site looking at? If you mean the location, then the location is looking at three damage, which is not so bad. Yeah, I, I think uh, we can we can let the location gobble some yeah. damage. We're gonna we're gonna wait a bit on that. Uh, um, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and deal that damage now. More snocks, hello and goodbye. <laughs> thanks for the <laughs> thanks for the good wishes on the Kickstarter. Um, did you start with a curse in your deck? Did I miss that rule? No. Uh, one of the so the the monster that I taunted the techno mage has an ambush effect. Remember, ambush effects happen when you reveal, when you first reveal the monster. And this one says, each player gains a curse. 
So mm -hmm. yes, we all have a curse in our discard pile. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think I think I'm out of stuff I can do. If I feel like taking three damage, maybe I taunt something off location. I think we'll be fine. Doesn't seem like a particularly Eve move. That doesn't seem right to me. Especially it doesn't when, seem right. When... I think I pass it to Sam. Well, uh, not yeah, whoever's yes. less weak. Yes, but not quite yet. So damage, damage happens. Mm -hmm. so yeah, two I take two, Eve, Eight. three to the location. Uh, clean up, everybody. You know, clean up your uh, discard your, your stuff cards. that's in play. And then... fine, fine. <laughs> It's been, it's been a minute for since Jen's played this. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's almost true. <laughs> I have played it since since our last streams, but uh, okay. But also, Jen, I'm just trying to be in character. Jen uh, recruits. Yes. Jen recruits yeah. something from the reinforcements, and then discards anything she doesn't want from her hand and refills to five and gets her Eve back. Remember, in addition to only getting to refill your hand at the end of your own turn, you're only you only get your own character hero back at the end mm -hmm. of your own turn. So yeah. the fact that I played my Lizwick off turn means that on my turn I'm gonna be like, hmm, little help. Hmm. I think I'm gonna buy that Gurky. Gonna buy the Gurky. How much sure. is that Gurky in the window? Gurky. Yeah, uh, he is turn really he good. is the Lord of Coin. Uh, by is. the way, if y'all haven't seen the uh, the new Rooster Teeth series of the Red Dragon Inn, oh yes, get over there and watch it. The first episode, okay, the first episode is on YouTube. The later episodes are behind their paywall, so okay, maybe maybe you don't want to subscribe to Rooster Teeth. But this stuff is freaking hilarious. So, but you should because so, because Red cause Dragon support our Inn friends. with with like. With cosplayers, with cosplayers, like, they yeah, built this great effects. set for it. Built, it. It's it's hilarious. Oh man, I I work so closely with the achievement hunter people to help them with like their visual design and planning and stuff, and it was a lot of fun. So what they did in this, these videos is basically they're they're playing a you know a, a basically a, a tournament tournament if you will of the red dragon in but every once in a while they do that you know how modern reality shows like show reality and then oh, they man. cut to a they cut to an interview of one of the people and they cut back to reality and then they cut back to another they're, they're doing that but for red dragon in and it's so oh fun. man yeah it's so all right fun. it's cider time i will be right back oh jen's right. getting more cider okay now it is my turn and now we're in the land of land of oh crap the the There's land of gog impulsive Sl Gog. Window slam to table, equip short sword. Gog help friend. Gog is going to fight this mechanical rogue or mecha rogue because mecha rogue, it has presumably, slash, which is an ability the that causes oh, one damage to every other hero in play. Uh huh. Presumably with the fancy Gog ability. Yes. So Gog has the ability of when Gog fights before rolling dice, I can <laughs> choose to give my item plus two damage. If I do, that item is then retired, which in this game means removed from my deck and from the game. So I'm going to uh, attempt to break my short sword off inside of this Smash. mecha Smash. So it's going to be this Smash. plus three. Hey, seven. That is, is that exact, exact change? Seize. Exact seize. Okay, this goes away. Now, we have now defeated a monster Shatter. with a contraption. So the contraption comes out here. And somebody must, yes, must, take it in their hand. Why is it must? Well, because check this guy out. It's a cursed necklace oh that God, I should put cursed. into frame. Cursed. cursed. Um, does Gog want this or should I take this? Uh, you should take it because I don't have a hero play. <laughs> I do. Um, okay. Then... Although you are Liswick. Well, yes, but I'm not. I'm not Lizwick. Lizwick right now, because true, he's indisposed. Um, now, what we're doing. Yeah, I probably should have taken that Elven bow, but then, but then Jen takes more damage, and things are ugly, and it's weird, and and etc. That's the uh, price of cooperative strategy, guys. And sometimes, 
It's true. It you know what, Jen? Jen, so, so. you, Gurky and me might be able to team up on this guy. Can you point Gurky at my flimsy automaton? Yeah. But, uh, hmm. This oh. feels like, this feels like oh. the turn to play the Eve what? Yeah, I, li I like this, this thought process you have here. Uh, yeah. I don't, hang on, hang on. You have to roll perfect for us. Well. What? You have to roll perfect for us to get the kill, though. But Eve's got uh. plus hero. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm looking at the, yeah, plus no, hero. Eve's got plus hero. Yeah. Eve's got plus hero. It's Eve. <laughs> okay, hit it. Yeah, like I forgot you've had plus zero. Yeah, yeah. We, no. So, so by the way, folks in chat, um, <laughs> we've been doing a lot of edits to these uh, to these <laughs> characters recently. So, if you if you've been actually like trying the public playtest mod, first of all, thank you for trying it. But number two, make sure you go into Tabletop Simulator and turn off mod caching because these cards are changing every day. <laughs> so, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. anyway. Um, so I totally forgot that Eve had plus zero. And yeah. let's just draw cards. Vortex, oh, will no, there be a no, mechanical dragon? Will there be a mechanical dragon? Steampunk dragons are the best dragons. <laughs> Sam, Sam started on that today. So, so <laughs> hard as, work. As you saw, the um the uh what is it? The 60k, the 60k stretch goal is yes, let's let's do something with the dragons. Now, um as we previously stated, we did not think we would blow past these stretch goals so quickly. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we're still working on the dragons, but yeah, defo gonna be dragons. Defo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Demistic asks if you can continually chain plus hero. The answer is yes. Um, yep. Keep going. Until you run out of cards that say plus hero. Village Smithy, Village Smithy, Village Smithy, Village Smithy. Dominion's like 12 Damn. years old. <laughs> so, yeah, so in, instead of grabbing a cider, because I thought I had different yeah. ciders, I, I grabbed the Pride Emblazoned Ozeki One Cup. <laughs> Ozeki One Cup? Wait, so you're doing sake now too? Yep. Sweet. Um, well, I'm almost out of mine. I got to get more, but we're mm. never going to finish this game if we take the slum and do every turn. Well, I'm I but promise I'm we'll speed up. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Oh, it's going to be all right. Dang. It's going to be okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so, Eve, uh, I'm going to have Gurky snipe the flimsy automaton because that oh, seems efficient. Damages to it. And then he's going to stab him. He's going to stab that guy. So, that's yeah. Gurky there. When Gurky's played, pick something. Hell take yes, some Gurky. Yeah. And Hell then, yes, Gurky. And then murder it. You got you got Gurked, flimsy automaton. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Dang. All right. Well then, uh, I guess I guess Eve has a choice of targets, and I guess that target's probably the techno mage. Wait. Oh what? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. No, no. You're yeah. you're good because I I have I have lethal in my you hand. You got kills so Yes. Yes. Go on. Oh, <laughs> hell yes. Okay, just all the dice from here on out. All right. Grab this here. Just call me Dr. Roll Good. Grab this here one. Dr. Roll Good. All right, so. Uh, well, then that leaves me. Um, mm -hmm. And I guess uh, for, yeah, I guess it's just, um, yeah, I guess it's, I guess it's Acolyte Wand on the Automaton. Ta-da. dead. So. This guy goes away. Unfortunately, somebody must take the cursed necklace. I actually vote me. No, okay. sure. That will become apparent. Okay. Um, well, cursed oh, necklace. Oh God, that's make... actually really that awkward. Makes... Yeah, that get that makes Gog's turn a little bit rough. Yeah, actually. I'll take. I can take it. <laughs> um, or I mean, Jen could take it to thin the deck for her plus hero character. I would be taking it to thin my deck. If I... Uh, one, I'll take okay, it. So damage, I think we're... Uh, we're but we're... E either way, Sam, we're one damage short on your turn. No, we're not. You oh, I have to this. take... I just, I just have to take... Yeah, I just have to take something good. That's all. Okay, so, so yes, I guess I don't take it then because I need to... So... As you saw, for those of you paying attention to the items, um, the Cursed Necklace says, while this is in your hand, you may not play other items. 
which means, for example, I cannot play this personal wrecking ball that's in my hand that's going to help Sam not get murdered next yeah. turn. Okay, I so now we are all done. I or the thing we, you're about to buy yourself. Yes. Are we uh <laughs> dang? Am I taking another damage to save this location, or do we are we not caring much about this location? Uh, I mean, free item is pretty good. Yeah. Discard all no, items not, is pretty bad. It's not free, but yes. Um, oh, well, still. Ugh. Am I taking three? Am I taking three for the team? You only live once. I'm taking three for the team, I guess. Uh, it's going to be this guy. The non-tank, yeah. The, the non-tank, the slightly easier to kill guy. Okay, so I taunt basically to save the location, even though I'm just going to take more damage to my face. Mm -hmm. uh, so we move to damage. I take uh, four. Oh, four, this guy. I forgot about this guy. Take will be fine. I take four. Uh, location takes two. You're welcome. Yay. Um, I will. Gog will remember. Clean what up. little pink thing well, did. Gog, Gog will Gog will remember once he comes back online after your turn. Um, what am I? What am I getting? Probably the Elven Bow, maybe the Rogue. There are several very, very, very good <laughs> cards out here right now. Uh, no, mm. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of Covert Operative. You don't like the Covert Operative? No, okay. it doesn't have plus hero. It doesn't have taunt. It, it has shield. It's got like shield later in the game. Card. Yes, later and in the you game. You can retire a card. Later in the game, when I'm like kind of desperate, Covert Operative is right up my alley. She's um, like a multi tool. That's true. She she's the Swiss Army knife oh, for, of uh, for, Battle Report. For Liswick, the townsfolk <laughs> is quite good though. Yeah. Yeah, you're Rogue right. Rogue is. Rogue is always good. Townsfolk is always good. Covert Off is good. Elven Bow is good. Like, these are mostly good. Uh, and don't forget R Liswick's ability. Hmm. And in the in a pinch, in a pinch, even the Collegium Elder is good in a red deck because it has taunt. Um, Vortec yeah, has a question. Are you aware if anyone has made Pathfinder 5e character sheets for the RDI characters? Not that I know of, but there is somebody, Evansor, Eversor, uh, Eversor, uh, which is Eversor, um, I think is how it's spelled, um, and they do they do this really really cute chibi art, <laughs> and they post that to Twitter, and they have sort of a free for me character sheet yeah. that they conceptualize for the RDI characters that they that they translate into their adorable art style and it's a lot of fun. So I uh, would recommend checking them out on okay. the Twitters. The other the other thing I would say Vortac is um someone made those character sheets. Um I'd be surprised if someone hadn't we don't pay attention to that stuff very much because as we, if you're on our Kickstarter campaign and you saw our update today, you will know that we kind of have to keep arm's length from anything like that stuff because then, because if we, if we don't and we pay too much attention, attention to that stuff and we publish something that somebody's like, I, I did that first, then, then we can get in a lot of legal trouble. So we, we stay away from that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, did y'all see Bottle Monkey? Did y'all see the D and D announcement today? I did not. What's uh, was there a D and D announcement? Today? They're going to do a new edition. Oh. oh, okay. Okay. I thought the yeah. announcement was Spell Jammer, but maybe that was just like a couple of days ago. Yeah. Is there a Kickstarter campaign command? Uh, so my my timer is supposed to be on. Uh oh. But. But it does not seem to be on. Hold on here. Uh... All right. In the meantime, <coughs> I've meantime, got we got a. Soul... I've got two damage to throw at a problem. I uh, I have more than that. I'm gonna start with the townsfolk. Ding. Draw a card. Maybe Draw I gotta card. do it twice. Who even knows? Okay. Um. Dog, you want a kite shield? A kite um, shield. You. I'll take a kite shield eventually. Yeah. No, I mean, how about right now? Because I drew a bag of holding. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it'll 
you know, oh like, yeah it's it's end of right it's a cleanup it's cleanup yes i'll get it eventually um, like gog loves kite shield event block a point of damage and hit something for three yes yeah <laughs> okay here's here's what i'm doing then i'm looking at oh uh, you neither of you have damage two damage and then eve can deal at most one damage okay cool uh so here's what we're doing then uh i play Lizwick. what are you about recruit something <laughs> it will be the elven bow uh, Lizwick Lizwick is our our shady vendor <laughs> out of her jacket is uh very yeah, so good I, I like so this this new this ability on Lizwick is new as of you know a couple of days ago when Sam was working on this and on the one hand it it's very interesting and and helps you solve problems on the other hand it it is really really easy to end up with a horrible deck <laughs> so so anyway um, I, I kind of like it uh, so <laughs> danger I think we're gonna I, I think I should. Elven bow this guy and yes, and then I can yeah. kill it. Yeah, Elven bow on the mechanized halfling Dang, for six, and I'll kill it so that we don't have to move any bits around. Great, then Ding. yes, that takes care of that dude. Um, now we have a choice. We could give this item to Jen, who hasn't played a hero yet. But then I've got to play the yeah, cursed necklace. Yeah, she's got a cursed. Oh necklace. right, you got a cursed necklace. Uh, it's, which? Uh, yeah, never mind. Um, which allow me wait, to hang just on, hang on. All right, Before, all right. We have to. We have to. I want to. We have to. Okay. So I, I the, do like helmet of personal space, but I have it. fewer um, acolytes than you do, Jeff. Acolytes? This doesn't. Oh, oh, oh! I see. <laughs> um, what? Sorry, I thought this was a yeah. I thought it was a retire self card. Um, uh, I I don't. I think the difference there is is not significant enough for you to not take that. So you I will take, take that. it then. Yom, yes, you yom. you take it. Get it. It gets rid of something, and Gog can probably just smash it anyway. I, so. I almost check it holding. Win. Yeah. Okay, Jen. Now you can do the thing you were going to do. In. All right, I'm going to evaporate this acolyte. Uh -huh. oh, look at that. Hey, look. It's a zero. It does nothing. It's a zero damage acolyte. It, during cleanup, it will go. Away. The gadgets are instant recruitment after monster death. Yes, model monkey. Yes. Um, as soon instant as as soon as the monster dies, yes, you have somebody has to take it into their hand. Yes, uh, okay, we're gonna keep this so, out just a little bit longer so that I can explain something about salvaging later. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, Salvage. Um, then I then there's nothing left to do except to punch a mega rogue. Um, yeah. And uh, what do we have? Three. Yeah, I'm gonna three, I'm gonna taunt a thing and eat four to the face. I am fearless. Oh right. God! Jeez. Okay, so strong. Wait, wait, wait. We're not we're not done yet. We're definitely oh, yeah, not yeah. done yet. You, yes, it's we could get lucky. This. Three three from this. It's some yeah. number from this. Come on, oh, roll good. Oh. Uh -huh. That is not the thing. That is that is not a four. Well, okay, don't, well. don't you gotta? Oh. <laughs> everybody has now. Everybody has now played a hero and an item, so we're done. Uh, so yeah, I'm, oh, I'm gonna sorry. taunt over. Let's see, what's this guy got? He's got the. I have to use the magnify button. First point can't of damage be shielded. can't be shielded. Ah, that's fine. Yom nom noms, come to me. All right, flying close to oh, the sun here. Yep. Cool. All right. Okay, so uh, the damage. Hero four takes the damage. damage. One, two, three, four damage. Four. One to the town. Clean up. So several of us have cleanup abilities, which is the ability to start with the rooms. cursed necklace. Yep. You may retire this hero if you do salvage this card. So again, acolytes poofs away forever, but the cursed necklace goes back. Oh my god, we might see it again. Oh Over here. no. Okay. Bag of holding says you may recruit the lowest cost item from the reinforcements for free if you do put it in another player's discard pile i am considering this guy right here in eve's discard pile that, that is a good one as well sure. um, assuming yeah. eve already has a it's probably going to be buying one of these guys at the uh, during the turn anyway so yeah so because it says lowest cost our only choices are the kite shield or the attenuating ring and i think the re the attenuating ring is yeah. actually better in this spot i so, i agree 
There you it go. Helps Having overcome the armors. Okay. Uh, now ah, I get a claymore. <laughs> so notice the ability. Now, normally in this game, if a gold comes up, you're like, "Oh well, that'll be something good for when we when we get gold next round." But the old gizmo shop says it's even better. Items that cost a gold cost a silver discount. Uh, yeah, the, uh... I'm, I'm buying a claymore. You can't stop me. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that was just cleanup. And right. Yes. Okay. Yeah, get it. You can do that right now. Oh, yeah, you can. I'm gonna check my are... discard pile real quick. Um, th this only whiffs if I get my item and both of my acolytes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, man. I got Back an item and only one of the acolytes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a not quite horrible draw. Hey. <laughs> Man, after this stream, I think I'm gonna walk down to QD and get a donut. Ooh. Yeah. Bubble Monkey, are the uh are the hearts on the layout the helpful location? Yes. So so it's it's yeah, our I need health to totals. update that. Uh yeah, that's down to two. I'm at six. <sighs> that's all correct. I have I have my T Sim monitor right here and my Twitch monitor up here. So. It, it's harder to keep these things updated when it's your own turn. Yep. We have an additional <laughs> question. Yeah. For the curse necklace, can you decide not to retire the acolyte and keep the item because it says may? Yes. Yes. Uh, however, I will say that. It's a fool's gambit. <laughs> it is a fool's gambit because what happens is you can. So, because it's it's fairly easy in Battle for Greyport to get rid of cards, right? You can, at the end of your turn, you can just discard it, right? You could. You could play your turn, play around the cursed necklace, discard it, you know, at the end of your turn and, and get a get another hand. The problem is at some point you're gonna redraw that guy and it's gonna come back at the worst possible time. And you're gonna have a card in your hand that says, while this is in your hand, you can't play other items. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh I have done that. By the way, I there are times when the situation is desperate enough that you just have to say F it and, and throw caution to the wind. So mm -hmm. I have done that thing you, you said, but usually the thing Eve just did is usually the better play. Not basic like that. Is there a way to purge the shop? That's always been the limiting factor in my games. That's uh, get what we want by the last round. There's nothing we need. So uh, wait game until rules... Lizwick levels up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> until game in game rules. No, there is no way to purge the, uh, the shop. Uh, but hang on, because because that's one of the reasons we're playing Liswick today. All right, guys, I feel like I feel like I need to do my part and taunt that unobtainium golem. The, do we want to? Oh, they're both tanks. I was going to say, do we want to kill this guy first? But they're both tanks, so it doesn't much matter. <laughs> I can I can uh, I can do four damage or two damage. I, well, I should, guess I should do four because they both have armor. Yeah. Uh, but yes, it's, it, that that seems reasonable. We doing yeah. this, comma and or dog. <laughs> so Jen taunts the last we person, the last the monster town. off the location. That means we've saved the location because it can no longer. I'm not joking. Die. What? Oh, uh, somebody was like, "Is it really called an unobtainium golem?" Please say you're not joking. I'm not joking. Even though it's not fine. joking, it is in fact the unobtainium golem. So, uh, and if if your D and D game doesn't have one of these in it, you need to add it. So, um, we have now saved the location, so we get this benefit here for saving the location. Each player may immediately recruit an item from the reinforcements. Uh, I would be happy with a dagger. Sam doesn't like. I the have dagger. to make a decision. Um, Sam, Sam thinks the dagger is bad. I disagree. What? No. I wasn't it wasn't it in your list? You sent me so so yesterday. Sam sent me a whole like layout of like uh, his, his tier list for, for cards you could recruit. <laughs> and I thought I thought dagger was fairly low on it actually. Nah, nah, nah. Um, no, dagger's dagger's quite good. Um, it is situational. Because if your hero only ever gets up to a white die, the dagger's kind of. Eh. That's true. But Noink. oh, Jen's Jen's just taking Pookie. Okay, the projectile like, Pookie. Jen's like, 
F you thinker dagger. people. We're just gonna <laughs> I'm just doing this, dog. Okay, I, there's two daggers now, so I'm gonna take a dagger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh look, it's your scepter, Eve. I know oh. what you're buying at the end of the See? Shirt. See, that's uh <laughs> that's how we do this. Yeah. Um, let's see. So I'm thinking well, okay, so I'm looking into the future. Jeff's got a problem to problems what needs solving. I've got problems what needs solving. Jen's got problems what needs solving. And I could definitely solve Welcome those problems by breaking a dagger over my knee. <laughs> and murdering two things. I suppose. But then I feel really sad because my dagger's broken. You don't have to break it. I don't have Dog. to. It just feels really good. <laughs> it feels Dog. good. Are we are we doing that thing where where the uh, where the spike can only play the most optimum play even when it's the when it's uh, we, we not are the taking the play? dagger. <laughs> ah, the shield. I would have rather had that one. Yeah. Ha oh, well. Hashtag Vortex says hashtag release Sam's tier list. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> maybe I'll put one together. No. All right. Are you are you shooting for the moon, or are yeah. you going for the the sure thing? Uh, I now have a dagger, by the way. Yeah, I mean, I guess I shoot for the moon and hope that you guys can do cleanup. Well, yeah, because both of us have daggers, so we can probably yeah. we can at least do half of the cleanup. Yeah. So let's let's do this. Um. Yeah, hit the golem probably. Yeah, I'm hitting the golem, and so that's one <laughs> the plus first whatever die of the game. First screen die of the game. Agree. Chad agrees with you, Sam. Gog, Gog must break die. Gog yes. must break. Come on, eight. Come on, eight. Oh. Ah. Oh. Streak broken. So Four plus three right. and a one. Okay, so it's cleavy oh, time. Hold up. Hold up. Wasn't that a five total and then a, oh yeah, three and a one. Never mind. Derp. Come Four plus a one minus one. Yep, yep. Okay, I play a soldier. I play a dagger. I play a personal wrecking ball. Oh yeah, that probably wins. Yeah, I cleave both dudes for yellow plus four. Yes, yellow it's plus four. Gog in time. Oh, <laughs> five. Uh, let's see. Yes, five minus five one is, is enough. Four to each, which is yes. Even <laughs> even with this crappy roll, it's enough. <sighs> Someone's gonna get an stick? arm cannon. Oh wait, arm cannon. Um, uh, I am want littered with items. Uh, okay, well then I'll take it. But I mean, I also break them. Um, oh. I could go either way on this. Uh, we're both it, littered with items. I yeah, need you to. You should take it. I think. Could, 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 could I have the? Yes, you can arcane? absolutely have it. So I have a couple yeah. soldiers just pooping up my hand right here. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, there's nothing for me to attack. <laughs> So I will refrain from attacking. <laughs> Neat. So All when right. everything in front of the active player is dead, you can attack the things that are on the location. But when everything on the location is also dead, you just kind of, you know, like, oh, look. You just kind of hang out. You chill. You crack a brewski. No one's it's taking damage. Nobody's taking damage. It's a good time. Good times. Okay, damage yeah. is nothing. Clean up. All right, I choose to lose a hit point in order to have projectile pookie again. Ah, yes, that is a cleanup effect. Retire projectile pookie unless you spend one hit point. Uh, it may not with this hit point loss. Jen sure. making me do more admin. Sorry. <laughs> not sorry. I was like, no, uh, it's taking damage. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to take Eve Scepter because I gotta. It's got my name on it. I need it. Well, it doesn't have my name on it, but... For cheap, doink. <laughs> Tarek Terran says, "Lizwick, uh, if you if you want it, I have it. Just don't ask where I got it." Yes, that is. <laughs> mm -hmm, that is mm -hmm. Okay. Because she doesn't remember. Hey, all right. And then I put my knee back in my hand. Mm -hmm. And it's my turn. Yeah. And I am. How violently quite do I solve your problems? I'm quite boned. Please help. All right. Um, the answer damage. is almost certainly Gog. Almost yes, certainly almost with Gog. a dagger. And dagger. then with some fodder. And the question is, 
Um, I'm definitely going to blast for... I want to make sure I blast for seven damage. I won't roll ones twice, right? <laughs> sure. No, come on. That never happened. Going never okay, happened. Okay, again, please... Oh, man. So, on the one hand... We should make this guy drop his thing. On the other hand, you know what? I'm going to make sure that I could do it if I roll a three on the two dice. Okay, which two are you hitting? Like these two? I'm going to hit the flimsy automaton and the reboger. Yeah, yeah. And I'm cracking Gog's favorite axe. <gasps> Powerful. Gog's sad now. Gog's Friendship is so moderately strong. Moderately sad, but is okay. This is why dagger good, because I can use dagger to cleave and not break dagger, but break other things. Other thing, good break, mm -hmm. break, uh, bad guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Robo Come on, dice. On. That is terrible. Yeah, it's you know, there's worse, but that's nine. So I blast the flux capacitor off the Roboger, who has the ability Bam. if a hero fights Wait, Roboger nine. and deals seven, it drops its contraction. Four, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is nine. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I thought it was Wrecked. less than that. That goes away. And there's an energy Got shield. This. Eve, have some blue items. We don't want them. <laughs> and they both retire themselves. Oh, well, all right then. In that case, uh, yeah, what, both of them? Uh, we... Yeah. Yeah, we don't want them. Okay. Yeah, I've got other things I need to worry about. Bye-bye, <laughs> dog favorite axe. Gog it's always axe. sad when Gog break Gog's favorite axe, but Gog Gog not in cleanup phase yet. No, Gog not in cleanup phase, but Gog still break axe before cleanup phase. You can't uh, save. By axe. the way, does this thing have nine damage on it? Yes. Great. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I can do two. Can you do three to something? Or potentially. Uh... So how many how many hit points have, have the Roboger and Techno Mage got uh, left? There's five remaining on the Roboger. Uh-huh. And there are eight remaining on the Techno Eight. Okay. Well I can do two. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna play Eve with her cool scepter. That seems good. Oh my god. If it's not your turn, draw a card. Yep. It's not my turn, so I'm gonna gonna draw a card. It's probably gonna be a curse. Oh, it's, it's not. not. All right, and I have two plus hero effects pending, so <laughs> I would suggest so... fight first. Oh yeah, all right. Well, yeah, yeah, that's that's a, that's a fair suggestion. All right, all right. Then let's uh, let's fight. Swing in. Swing in. Two you know, yellow dice. I... Two yellows on. Who are you attacking? Uh. This guy. Yeah. I like okay. that. Okay. Good. Let's make this guy statistically stop probable. Let's make this guy dead. Wrecked. Yeah. Get wrecked. Noob. Dead. Getting wrecked. Now, can we actually get to eight? Because I'm not sure we can. Uh, well, I can do two. Yeah. I mean, soldier plus the arm cannon. Oh, you have this plus is plus three. Zero. Yeah, I have two plus heroes pending. So uh, three, four, five, six, seven. I uh, yeah. You, uh, you can taunt the flux over my calculator. You can just nuke it. Yeah, we'll probably do it. Well, oh, oh, or we go. Yeah, we could go that route. We go all to in. Kill the thing here. Because mm -hmm. the Mechorogue is most certainly dead. <laughs> it's probably dead. Okay, well, yes. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. All right. Can ha ha ha! Vortec, let's get so, even. Three to the techno here's mage. A, here's a wrench in your plan. Not yeah. holding anything back. Ha ha! Get Oz wrecked. Oh my god. Oh, uh, all right. Vortec, well. Uh, all right. Uh, this plus one. Three, four. 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 Yep, and I did three with the, this guy. Oh, he's got a pixel. Mm. Uh, yeah, but I, I can still play. Oh, all right. Well, there we go. 
Plink Problem em. solved. Get him. Da, 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 da. Plink. Huzzah! We did it. Okay. Damage. I'm not. Ta- there is no need for me to take anything off here. No, so no, I... no. That's fine. Clean up. Everybody clean up. Uh, we have a salvage effect here. Salvage, by the way, salvage on a contraption means shuffle back into the contraption deck, mm-hmm. uh, which we yes. already explained with that curse necklace, right? Yes. Eve also has another cleanup ability. Yes, I can return another hero I played this turn to my hand. <laughs> so if you really want that acolyte back. You know what? It could come um, in handy. She Who does knows? have two more weapons. That's true. Yeah. So uh, cool. There we go. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Okay, then I recruit. I cannot recruit. I am Liswick. I have already spent all of my recruitment coins. Yes. So now I get out of money. Now, now you just refill. deal with whatever you're going to draw. And here we go. Oh, that's a good hand. Uh, soldier with this helmet of personal space. Uh, when I play the helmet of personal hand. space, I may retire a hero from my hand or discard pile. I will retire this acolyte from my discard pile. Wee. Mm-hmm. And then I'll do three to the mecha row. Oh, the no. Tank. I will not do three to anything yet. I will yeah, sit don't... tight. Yeah, you should, you should sit. You should totes sit. Um... And regret my choices. <laughs> Mm, act like with an energy shield, I think, is... Wait, where'd Liswick go? Oh, there she is. I ate her. Energy shield? Yeah, yeah. you get a shield. Yeah, you get a shield. Ooh, yeah. this will prevent one point of damage dealt to a player at the end of the round. I'm helping. <laughs> okay, I guess I better... I, I guess it's I guess it's going to be... I guess it's Liswick time here, so... Okay, um, <laughs> Liswick all comes down to Liswick. Okay, townsfolk. Townsy. Village Smithy, Village Smithy, Village Smithy, Village Smithy. <laughs> um, so, uh, four, seven. I mean, I could just go, I could just go nuclear and take the tank away, and then we're kind of overkill. Um, Snow kill like overkill. <laughs> four mm-hmm. seven basically if i i could taunt huh i could taunt the tank but then two of our plays are pretty much wasted um i mean if you can kill the tank i can kill i i i have lethal for the mecha rogue so if you get if you guys add up to eight well i i that's very unlikely um uh <clears throat> But, but let's try it. Liswick, uh, I recruit nothing because I have no coins. No. Um, uh, Kuna. Um, hmm. Ugh, Man, I thought you were saying Hunan for a moment. I was like, why is Jeff breaking out a Hunan beef joke here? But I, I'm gonna give Liswick a short sword and roll on Liswick on the tank. Because uh, we need to know what this die says first before doing it. Do it! Three, four, three. three. Uh, I, yeah, I think we're one short. Um, yes, we... No, we're okay. not. Three, two... I mean, and you still take two damage? Sorry, what? what do you think the line is? He gets kunai. Right. Swings for two. I On swing for two. Uh, to, that puts it at seven. Jen swings for one. We take out the golem yeah, and we take yeah. two damage. Yeah, right, taunt so, it over. Yes, It'll kunai, be fine. taunt, uh, and then just beat for three. Dead. Taunt and back. Uh oh yeah okay well I mean this can't be shielded why why would you talk back oh okay that's fair <laughs> uh that t- oh because you got a stabby for stick no reason. now that's why I would talk back uh it's still not enough four five oh the shield yeah no, it's still it's not, not enough one two 
three, one, two, four, five. One, two, three, one, two, one, doesn't four. Give a flag. <laughs> I, I think it's doesn't give a flag. Nice. I, I think we're still short one, but uh, if you, I'm going to take that stabby stick. And then I think we move on. Let's okay. Say no. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Clean up. Clean up the things. I buy a rogue. Rogue, good. Lizwick. Lizwick is in the game. So Shuffle. We take her Two. out of the reinforcement row. One of these. And put this apprentice there instead. Is this thing dead or did you just move it to the side or like Oh it, it just moved to the side. Great. Okay. That's is dead now. Dead. All right, good. This goes away. This goes to Jen. She must when there use are it no, to taunt the guy over. When there are no active monsters and nothing on the location, the uh, active player must use the turn marker to taunt something. All right. Well, my, my last acolyte feebly steps forward with an <laughs> illusionary sword and hopes for the best. Mm-hmm. And does one damage. She's doing her best. I'm snapping my short sword off inside of this. <laughs> oh, God. Dang it! One, Come on, Sam. Two, three, four <laughs> minus one is three. Do I need to jump okay, into the well. computer and like blow on these dice? <laughs> I'm. We're fine here. Acolyte one to hit for one. Bye okay. bye, short sword. We did okay. Somebody watch. gets. Somebody gets. <laughs> Jen, you want a mana enhancer? Good. What? Yeah, no, Bottle Monkey, they just, uh, they made that up. They, they didn't follow through because they don't know what's good. Jen, take this mana enhancer. I'm doing it. And yeah. Then we all get to spend the remaining coins we have, which for Lizzie. I have is one. Mm. Jen, would you like to spend your kappa first? Yeah. There's a, there's a fancy apprentice or a collegium elder. Hmm. I think I'll take that elder. Oh, I'll take the rogue. We we are now taunt rich. All right. Taunt Let the taunting begin. Good. Yes. Oh, um, and this energy shield should be should have been salvaged at the end of the turn. Oh, well, I'll fix that. Um hey Sam, how easy it is is it to turn back on the um uh slideshow uh, for a brief bathroom break? Oh yeah, Ooh. we can do that real quick. I like that plan. That's smart. Uh, hi chat we're gonna th this game is taking longer than we thought but uh ah, we spent the us. like first 40 minutes talking to the crowd that's imagine true, that's imagine that like the girl from ipanema is playing while we're gone right yes <laughs> Love so, you, bye. So, we'll, be, we'll be right back after a brief bathroom break bye chat <laughs>
we're back. We took a bathroom break and we took a get more sake break and, mm-hmm. and etc. <laughs> so time for round two. Encounter two. Most most <laughs> scenarios in Battle for Greyport are three encounters long with a boss at the end and etc. So now we have new problems to solve. Mm-hmm. Hello so we... again. Welcome. Anybody new? Anybody new in chat? If you're new in the chat uh, and you just got here, uh, make yourself known. Hi, welcome. We're Slugfest Games. Mm-hmm. Games. Okay, so when you go to a new encounter, there's a couple of things to note. You get a pile of new money. Wee money! Recruitment coins for us. Copy. Paste and paste. Uh, there is hey. also going to be usually be a new monster deck you shuffle in. So we're going to go grab the Brutes deck. Over here, and we shuffle that into the already existing deck of monsters. So it's about half of the previous deck of monsters, and then the full of the next deck of monsters. You do not shuffle the discard pile back into the deck. Okay. And then right up here, you have a little table telling you how to set up the next round. There are three players, so you go down column three. There's 11 health on the location. Copy, paste, and paste, and paste. Which is the drunken gear box, which has the ability heroes that cost a gold cost a silver. At least that's the ability it has in this game. Yes. As you might have seen on the Kickstarter, the drunken gear box is also going to be a new tavern in the Red Dragon Inn for the pub crawl variant. And if you haven't played the pub crawl variant yet go out right now and get yourself a copy of rdi 8 uh and or get the it. copy that you've already got out and crack it and, open and uh, <laughs> it's hilarious and it's great uh attack. i love the we pub sold crawl, a lot so of rdi 8 come on <laughs> the pub crawl swiss midget finally able to stream tried previously and the connection was not stable enough to watch good now you have now you have internet internet and therefore you can magically connect to the three of us from our own homes where we are sitting and playing on our computer it's the future basically it's the future it's the future uh we i also jumped the gun we we should we should do our leveling up our hero yes and our discard and bra and stuff i'm actually getting rid of all of this i i keep two rogues in a claymore because that sounds like a that sounds like a good backup band for God. <laughs> oh, and I got wait, short wait, sword wait, and oh. stabber stick. Oh boy. Daggers. Oh no. Well is, is good. Okay. Daggers. We're gonna it's gonna be fine. Everything's okay. It's that, good. Using using the slang term daggers is actually kind of funny when we actually both have daggers in our mm-hmm. Um, Jen, you should go ahead and uh, draw up a new hand of cards and take your level two Eve. Oh, level two Eve. Do we want draw to talk about our new heroes do? Yeah, well, we'll do that when we play them. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be him. more fun, more dramatic. Here we go. All right. uh, Give me... Vortec, uh, so I used to work at a library at a college, and and during exam weeks, we would get That's nice. therapeutic puppies in. And people could oh. pet the puppies Aww. to take a little break from exams. Are we doing any rest healing between rounds? No, we are not. We are no. hardcore. God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. No. All right. So time. It's story time. It's story time. <laughs> okay. So we we made Battle for Greyport and we tested uh, we tested the heck out of it um, and. <laughs> The feedback, the feedback we got from some of our testers, you know, some some of my gamer friends here in the Bay Area, um, was you know it was pretty good. It was it was fun, and for some of them, the feedback we got was actually that the game was too easy. Um, but we were like, we we don't we don't mind that. That's that's going to be all right. And then we made a critical last minute mistake. Okay, which was. We took the introductory scenario, the, the shorter uh, scenario uh, to teach people the game. And we tried making it a little bit shorter, 
right? We decided, hey, look, you know, we want to make sure that the intro to the game can be, you know, something we can play at a con. And in the process of making it shorter, um, we did. We all have to discard a card. Yeah. We uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I was going to let you finish your story before interrupting with the answer. I guess I'll discard oh, yeah. this curse. Bye. I, oh. I <laughs> so. Bye, Becky. We, we emphasize making this thing shorter, but in the process, it made it kind of harder. And kind so, of. And so everybody was like, this game is impossible because the introductory scenario was a little bit hard. Um, and being Are, the being the sort of achievement oriented completionist that most gamers are, most players did not allow themselves to go past that introductory scenario until they beat it. And in some cases, that made them just say, "F it, I don't want to play this game anymore." We also prioritize so, difficulty for the demo slash intro scenario to show people what the game is really like. Yeah. yeah. Now this this was a you know this was a we we will admit this was a, something of an error in judgment, but the the vitriol we got about this is like this game is impossible, bloody bloody blah. And okay, cool, we get it. We we people don't like a frustrating experience. We get it. Um, and so the next version is you know so so the the main well we made two big erratas. One was. We changed the introductory scenario and just, you know, made it somewhat easier. And we added this idea of rest healing, which for a lot of people is what turns this game into, you know, from a from an unplayable face beating to a, a nice game that they can play with their friends. Now, rest healing, we... The, what we put in the in the errata was that hey, if you liked the game the way it was before, and you you like this kind of face melting, you know, badassery, great, play with the rest healing of zero. It's, we call it hardcore mode now. However, for <laughs> most of our playtesting and for you know streams like this, yes, we we do we generally do not play with rest healing because it reminds us of failure. <laughs> well, I will say this on our behalf. We uh, we put out those errata very quickly. I think we had yeah. a new edition of the rule book in PDF form available to fans in like the first week after release. Something like that. But, yeah, uh, yeah. But and to be clear, that emphasizes that it was a failure on our part. Yeah. <laughs> if you have to errata your rule book that soon after release, you done effed up. Yeah, that's fair. But anyways, let's Anywho, let's see how much we suffering not, we can we can chew on this time. We are not playing with rest healing. Okay, I got a tank over here. Look at all these big brutes. Oh, you see, I you see Jeff I did the thing that I once. did. I like to to stagnate my guys based on how close they are to me. So. Stagnate. That is not the word. Stag you should, <laughs> not that stagnate. is not what that means. Striate. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Um, so, for example, in my setup, which is a perfect example of this, we must attack the clay golem. And then before we can attack the airship pilot, we must attack the two-headed giants. Because the airship pilot is ranged and therefore further away. See, Vortex says, uh, first time my friends read the dragon encounter, we all looked at each other like, what? That was before rest healing took us eight tries. So, so we're not going to apologize... <laughs> To, to be clear, we are not going to apologize about the dragon scenario. That is supposed to kick your butt yes. like eight weeks from Sunday. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at the oh, yeah. size of this dragon. It's as big as this card and then all of these other cards. Uh -huh. <laughs> we, we put five cards on the table and that's how big he is. <laughs> he has more cards. He don't fit on one card. I'm going to play Lizwick. Hey, yeah. Lizwick. Level two. So in between encounters, everybody levels up. So uh, what you level do now? two, Lizwick says, you may retire an item from the reinforcements, then you may recruit an item from the reinforcements. Hey. I am going to retire. These are all pretty good. I'm thinking of retiring the scythe. I know Sam doesn't love the mace, but I kind of do. Actually. Uh, mace um, is, uh, in this scenario, the mace is not, it, it is, is better than the scythe. The, yeah, you, the scythe, you don't have given the scythe, many bodies. Yeah, given that there's no blue on the line right, right now, I'm actually going to retire the scythe. 
Uh, by the way, uh, Vortec, this is exactly what we were talking about earlier. Lizwick finally does that thing that people have been asking for. Now, does that mean you always need to play with Lizwick? No. I mean, this, this idea of, you know, eventually the reinforcements are kind of stale. That kind of was an intentional piece of the design, yeah. uh, especially. So, so it's not... We don't consider that, an, you know, just totally a bug. It's kind of what the game is meant to do. But the, the game already gives you lots of yes, because when you buy a card, you get it. It's yours mm -hmm. now. By the way, I just revealed a Claymore. Oh, do we get are we both dagger Claymore wielders? <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, just Liz Wick with the claymore coming at you, screaming at the top of her <laughs> itty can Barely even lift it. She's like, ah. like, like she has to get a running start. She like <laughs> leans the claymore up somewhere and then it's, runs and grabs it. And it's only the momentum that helps her move it. It's that. It's like that 1984 commercial for Apple. When she comes running and she swings it around and just hucks it. Uh huh. Like, uh huh. Yes. Crafty yeah, tiger she's, hidden dragon. She's just doing a hammer throw, but with a sword. Uh, but if, if you would rather I take the heavy shield, that's fine. Oh, I, I already what? got a claymore. So, so I'm the heavy shield's six. actually better for me. <laughs> I'm at six. How much damage is it? Yeah, I'm taking, I'm taking the claymore. I gotta, I gotta do, I gotta do damage here. Uh, that means I spend <laughs> <the> gold. <clears throat> oh, there. we got the toot. This is with toot. vaults with a claymore to get the attack going. Warhorn is a very useful card. I it's like a, uh, I like picking up the warhorn and blowing so hard it does three damage and breaks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, Lizard, <laughs> Lizard's gonna play this, uh, equip this claymore that she just uh, drafted. Oh, how convenient! And she's gonna she's gonna punch the tank for this and this yeah. and one. Yeah, yeah. Tank, go play those Die. claymores now because they're useless oh. on Jen's turn. It's gross. So seven plus one minus one is seven, ah. which is exactly wrong. Sadness. Exactly wrong. Okay, plus splash two because Claymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She does one here and this here and hooray. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Good. Somebody. Oh, why somebody... is it going underneath? Oh, it's just it, it's clicking on top. Okay. It's like, here. It's going what? away. Okay, good. Uh, somebody, somebody poke this. Um, tank. let's see. Who, who needs a poking? If 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 Jeff can solve my problems on my turn, I can solve all of his problems this turn. As what long as Jen pokes solved? the steam tank. What what problem do you need solved? Eh, just you know these bodies. They don't have. Should armor. I should I act like I'll get a mace, answer the the steam tank is what you're saying? If you poke the steam tank, I will gog with a claymore and a dagger the other two bodies, breaking neither because I want both of these items. And that'll probably clear out the rest. Or get so, real dang close. So four damage pierce two is what you're after? Oh, uh, yeah, that, that'll, that'll, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll successfully do, do the All right. thing. That'll do. Good, pierce. good, good. Um, there you go. By the way, there was a question in playtesting. We're going to talk about Pierce a little bit here for a second. This dude goes away. Um, Pierce, as you will recall, uh, means just Gog. it, it ignores Pierce X means it ignores Clay that many. Dang, Gog. <laughs> Dang, Gog. Gog is solving that problem. Them. No, do you want to bring some? No, uh, no. I'll, I'll, I'll no, definitely I, kill this. I definitely I'll do not. Kill that. So. Pierce, as you know, Pierce X means it ignores up to X armor. Hey, look, dead. Super, super duper, like, smoking crater in the ground. Dead. Just a pink mist in the air where these guys used to be. Good job, Gog. Oh, help. Yeah, yeah you did, Gog. You want an energy shield, Jen? I can't yeah, wield it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I, I don't want it. Pierce. Him? So Pierce, Pierce in uh in in it means you ignore up to that many points of shield. Okay, um, the rules document as we were going through and and uh, <laughs> making this new expansion, we we noticed that there's a really there's actually it's kind of a bit of a self contradiction in the Battle for Greyport rules. Um, basically, all Pierce abilities have the cross swords which means this happens when you fight 
And the rules for Pierce say that this happens when you fight, but that also Pierce applies to all damage, including splash and snipe and things like that. Now, this is clearly a rules contradiction. And what I think happened is that we changed the rule kind of late in development and didn't notice that the rules are a little bit self-contradictory. So starting with this uh, game, this expansion and the The reprint reprint. of Battle for Rayport, Pierce no longer has any icon in front of it. It's not a, it's not a fight ability. It's not a now ability. It's not a this turn. It's not anything like that. It's just a thing that a card has and all instances of damage caused by that card have the Pierce, which is why you see that, that, uh, that the, um, uh, what is it? The mana enhancer here just says Mm -hmm. Pierce two straight up because We, uh, yeah, because because we wanted to work that way and we wanted it to work that way before and we realized that the previous rules are actually a little bit unclear and even self-contradictory. So yeah. anyway, that's how um, Pierce works now. Uh, before we clean up, did you want to taunt a thing? I mean, we got tons uh, of help on the town and you're not actually it's only scary. Three? Yeah, it's only at three. I definitely, no, I, I don't I'm, think I'm you need saving to my... It. Yeah, I'm saving let, let my... Let the town suffer a little bit. Right? Yeah. Okay, it's, so it's damage. A, it's a pile of hit points not our hit points mm-hmm, mm-hmm. town pro, takes three pro tip folks folks playing this game if the town isn't actually taking all that much damage just let the town take damage it's fine it's fine actually for damage now. okay clean up uh yeah clean up has to salvage this Ooh, uh, mm-hmm. and then i get to recruit something i already spent my gold it's very sad we oh. having a good time too yeah mace covert op Hmm. I kind of want Sam. Are you suggesting I do something? Yeah, this guy gets salvaged during the. Okay. All right. Hold up. (laughs) Oh man, do I do I want a mace or do I want a uh, covert op? That's a a tough question. I I I really like covert operative as as a as a person. Get yourself a Swiss Army knife. Yeah. But All right, mean, Mace does there. just crack through armor. It's just, it's just just kill thing. No, I'm taking the taking covert ops. I could and have then, Pierce, or uh, I could have well, five I, damage every time I use this item. I discard all of this crap. I draw three, and I get this, and I pass this. And, and heck, you could have the off. mace and the covert off. <laughs> it's true. Uh, okay, it's um, true. I've only got rogues. So I can do a, a a a D bad in damage to the clay golem, and that's about it. D bad. Uh, okay, so covered up, uh, dagger, elven bow, swing. Jen, is your your hands kind of matte? Also, yes. Uh, I mean a little bit. You you could look at it because she can yeah, no, I, I scroll I, I scrolled way I scrolled Why way. Is this over, illusionary wait. sword floating yeah, what, in space? Is this illusionary sword in your hand? Uh, it better not be. I'm just going to assume it's in your discard just, pile. Yeah. yeah. I, I believe that I played it. All I right. Hey, look, it's not your turn. Would you like to Hang on. Cards? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out. This is level three Eve. I was like, wait a minute. Sam, did you move that ability level two? No. Uh, Jeff. This is the. This is the. Oh, Eve this I'm came playing. out of your hand. Yeah. This one came <laughs> out of my hand. Here. Yeah. That one's just I sitting gotcha. there. Out just of, sitting down here out of like I site. have my dogs. I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. I'm confused. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. All right. So I'm going to discard. Play play me that Eve and draw two. And they're the and best then... cards, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Those are not your best cards. Goodbye, soldier. You had such a good time. Uh, well, I guess I don't know. Do I do I play me that collegium elder and do a taunt? Uh, maybe. maybe, maybe, maybe. I, I definitely I, want I'm a not shield. Have one. My biggest damage. Shield. Okay, we have a shield now. Oh yay! Put a shield on the board. Yay, shield. Yeah. I will I shield will one. mark the two-headed giant as the one that I have to shield. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, <coughs> let's see here. Because I could 
<laughs> Vortex says Gog breaking two green die swords is a dragon killing move. Yes. 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 I, I kill two ice wyverns at the same time the hard way. Uh <laughs> shoot, I kill most parts of Mordegar. I mm-hmm. suggest well, should should we have Eve taunt away the golem or should we have Eve punch the golem? I think we should kill the golem and I you know, like if I take one damage from the airship pilot whatever yeah that's true if we can actually yeah most problems go away if we can get rid of that clay golem all right well let's let's have eve attack first and let's see how this goes would be a shame eve if... <laughs> what to it. The chat, yeah. uh, no i'm just responding to funnies. chat because mm, okay. dogs breaking right. stuff so you know well, this plus two be a shame if something were to happen Four. to your nice place here not great uh, two plus two is four. Three plus four. Plus you want me to throw four. my rogue? I mean, I've still got uh, a plus hero, so I can have a shield. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. Elven Bow. Elven oh, right. Bow Im- immediately solves this problem. Solve oh, that well, problem. Uh, solve it. Yeah, so I, I count how many... I count how many... Hey, is it worth um you taunting another dude if I give you another shield? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you another shield. Easy. Yum, uh, nom, I draw nom, a card. Noms. Oh, bag of holding, you say. Mm. Bag of holding, you say. The devil, you uh. say. No, no, it's it's not time for bag of holding right now. I'm getting I'm getting distracted by the squirrels. Squirrel. <laughs> um. Okay, so next it is uh, dagger, elven bow, snipe the golem. Mm. I, I was not expecting the dagger play. Why not? I don't know. That's pretty cool, yeah. though. It, 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 okay, you're correct that it might be slightly better on Jen's turn, but I'm... Uh, I'm let me taunt forward. over... something. You might you right. might knock this off of the rope over. Yeah, it's, okay, ah, no, unlikely, but yes. See if you get lucky. I'm taking both. I'm hitting get both. Em. Punching both. Get there em. we go. Punch. Punch for five. Five, five is meh. That's that's but you know it's convenient because that's the value of one of these tokens. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, there you go. Uh, I'm After gonna the fight, taunt... I can retire a card from my hand, which will be hey. this curse. Curses. Ooh, goodbye. It flies. It flies around in front of camera. Ooh. Ooh. Note that the retired curse does not return to this deck of curses. The deck of curses is limited. You. Deal out all 20 of them over the course of a game. Congratulations. You no longer have to suffer curses. <laughs> <laughs> they've think they've I, tried I think as hard I, as they can. And they I fail. think I exhausted that deck like once ever. Yeah. Um, I still have a plus hero here, guys. So Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah, we yeah. need to do more. We need to do some more killing here. I'm going to go ahead and just throw my rogue at this two-headed giant to just throw some damage on it, because I don't think yeah. I want to play two of them over the orbit. Um, I mean, I could, and then just save the town, and then you guys have to save me, but I'm not Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows we're not good enough to uh, save him in that spot. And we do suck, damage. or at least I suck. Eh, get out of here. Okay. And uh, if you want to do your extra hero play, you can, or, you know. Yeah, or all feel right. Free t- uh, oh, it's going to be your turn, and then you have to, yeah, okay. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put forward my, my little guy who sucks and his little sword that sucks. And <laughs> ding! And ding. Oh, who would you like to attack? I, I would vote for Two-Headed Giant. There you go, that's where it is. Ding! Doink. Two damage. All right, I okay. take one. Ow, my face. All right, no, no, we clean up. And then... No, no, damage first, yeah. Damage Ow, my first. face. Two and from the location. To the town. And then I update the things. If someone could clean me up while I'm doing that, that'd be great. Clean up oh. goes like this. My face. Like I this, hope I reveal like a berserker like soon. This. I'd certainly like to add a berserker to my deck. Oh, it's cool that I don't. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, TSM Quality Software. Um, don't, don't 
disparage our, our, our cool business and... partners who actually made a great mod Battle for, for mod. Battle for Grapeport. It's super good. Yes. It has like automatic buttons and stuff. Yes, and you just go and... poke and then it's like, and it's really good. I mean, I take the heavy Plays... shield, right? <sighs> Probably or the warhorn, but yeah, probably the shield. Yeah, I take the heavy Wait a shield. What about? Hang on, hang on. Time out. Why not yeah. Serena? Um, You've got tons of items. Given how physical these items have been, I kind of wanted to leave Serena available to Eve. Oh, that's yeah. very kind of you. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, Serena will patch the Eve also, problem while also still getting to wield Eve's magic wand. So. Yeah, and God, God break weapons. So, Vortex yeah. says, are there any plans to reprint Gaitains and Taverns? I know it's fairly out of your normal wheelhouse as board game makers, not RPGers. Uh, meaning a <clears throat> reprint or update for Pathfinder 2. Um, eh, probably not, honestly. Um, uh, in, yeah. In, Jim, in my opinion, strictly, creating variations of books for new editions of the same flavor of six attribute D and D or not D and D not D and D. Mm -hmm. It's very converting from one to the other is usually not that challenging. Yeah. So you know? that, that was going to be my question. I don't play this stuff, but isn't it, couldn't any reasonably experienced GM just open the existing book and figure it out for the new system yeah like like if, unless pathfinder 2 is particularly radical in its changes then i mean radical <laughs> uh it shouldn't be that difficult okay We're quite different says, okay. quite different well yeah. so so the answer the, the that's answer even is, less likely <laughs> yeah I mean, sorry the answer is no uh, yeah, I mean, it, uh, yeah the longer answer is Eh, I'm sure some enterprising individual could, you know, figure it out. We'd be happy to <laughs> license it to somebody who was interested in doing something like that if they had a proven, you know, professional track record because it, branding, yes. right? Okay, here we are. We gotta, we gotta take out this harpy. I gotta, yeah, we gotta fight these people. We gotta fight these other people. Um, I can definitely squish one. I'm pretty mm. sure I could squish the harpy in one shot. What are my odds? Two, four, eight, Get her. nine. Yeah, I would need to roll first because I would need to roll a four or better. You should try that first because my plays are decidedly meh right now. God, God. equips a heavy shield, so you have a shield too, my friend. Nice. And then I yeah. put on my fun new hat, which I wear really <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna uh, smash the hat. I smashed the uh, hat. So when I play that, guy. oh, Vortec. Uh, so the PDF is still available on Drive Through RPG. You can just go out and get it right now. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, the availability is not even particularly Constant. constrained. I believe you can still buy a printed copy through Drive Through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're, they're print on demand. They're just that's how that's what they do. Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> is a... misunderstanding on my point. Yeah, yeah, get it. All right. It's just it's just a thing you can buy all the time. <laughs> until, oh, uh, you know, yeah. unless drive through RPG also, goes out of business. Just so you know, I, I doubt that. But uh, yeah, I, if, doubt, I doubt that. If you love Kung Fu fighting and on guard, right. we have those, those on, on drive through cards. Yeah. Uh, drive through cards is somewhat my copy of on guard right RPG, here but but uh yeah go get them it and is, my actual it copy of on not, guard right here <laughs> it is definitely not distinct from drive through rpg it is literally the same company and the same i mean it's company. it's literally the same company but you need to punch in a different website and you need to log in differently it's not a single sign-on you gotta use I different suppose. electrons yep yep uh chris hollywood, chris hollywood. says uh yeah my, my wife, wife and i just Hyra. Oh, congratulations how I feeble would Hydra be? Against. So uh, we we think the new characters are about the same as the old ones, but our some of our external playtesters disagree with us. We're playtesting that. Um, we are not, you know, we are not trying to completely upend the balance level of the game. 
We're yes. just trying to make things that are different and fun. Mm -hmm. and, and every time I want to remind myself, I just play with Fiona. I'm like, oh, right. Fiona just solves all the problems. Fiona's, like, Fiona's real good. Many I of the problems in the game that don't involve directly killing a thing, Fiona solves it. She usually also solves the directly killing a thing, too. Like, this game, if you played enough of this, you realize that the main things you have to do are move dudes around as conveniently for you as possible and murder the dudes. Yes. Those are the two main things you're doing most of the time. And it turns out Fiona's really good at both of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those two yeah. things, I fight them, and that thing will fight eventually. Yeah. Uh, but right now, Gog fight this harpy. Yeah. Get Bottle it. Monkey. <laughs> Bottle Monkey. The, uh, Bottle Monkey loves playing as Kronos. I, so as we've I done need... some testing for this, I, I, pulled, I pulled Kronos back out a couple of times. I played with him earlier today, and I'm like, yeah, this, this dude's good. This I, I like this dude. He's uh, he's pretty cool. Uh, and that that harpy has now become a a, a spray of feathers. Note that I attacked the one thing in front of Jen that wasn't immune to my green die, which mm -hmm. is a new mechanic introduced in this game. Bob Monkey this... says, "Sorry, finish your thought." Uh, so immune to die means that they will ignore the damage result. Of that die, so this 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 honking eight damage I dealt would have just be a zero. just just whiffed. They were too short. I swung too high. Mm -hmm. uh, Bottle Monkey says uh, I love playing as Kronos and Zot. Now that I have his level three, Bottle Monkey, are you the person who wrote to us because you had two level two Zots and no <laughs> level three Zot? Because that's because we were like, oh man, I remember that. I remember that request, and that was a that was an unfortunate uh, that was an unfortunate miscollation in, in the in the game that you got. Man, okay, I... so now we're back to here, and yeah. this is this is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. this is this is pretty dealable. Uh, I think okay. I'm still now. Do you I have a, to uh... taunt with my collegiate elder? No. Oh, you, all right then. You just must decide when you play him. If mm, you got it, taunt, got it. taunt is always optional. Cool, cool. Uh, Monk, oh. con monkey confirms. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Glad to have helped. Bam. I mean, do I try to hit somebody with him, or do I keep him I'm, up for later? Like, or? like you're pretty good right now. I'm pretty good right now, but but also I'll be able to refill my hand True. and yada yada. So why hold back? So here he comes. New cards. <laughs> Collegium Elder cards. punches Gizmoblin because ranged equals he's my only choice. So, bam. Yeah. Yeah. Single you suck point. at Collegium Elder. Elder. Um, he's he's so wait, old. He's tired. He's do doing his best. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, four, I, if I roll perfect, I could get an eight, but I'm not going to do that. So, nah, save it for, for yeah. doing the I'm fun saving thing it for my turn. free I'm hits from the guys on town. I'm Fair. saving it for my turn. Go. Cool. All right, then uh, turn over, I think. Yeah, yeah. so clean up. Damage. You take Dark, sorry, one. Damage. I take one damage. Uh, Just, no, I got a shield. Two. Shield okay, goes over and here and with the other shields. Four, and we have to start worrying about it again. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Bottle, Bottle Monkey says, oh, uh, yeah, because we actually mentioned level three, and Bottle Monkey asked about, is Zot supposed to only go to level two? And we were like, no. So, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What are yeah. you buying? I don't know. What are you selling? Uh, I got a, I got a amulet of protection. What gives you the shields and the dual wields? Oh, but uh, and I think there's I'm also gonna... the Serena's. What just destroys? I'm just gonna get that Serena. <laughs> I've been sold. She's a big green lady who uh, destroys and is ambidextrous and, about and who fits in your deck just fine. Just, oh, speak of the fine. Zot Devil. Nice. <laughs> Man, Pookie's oh, all over uh, the place in this game. Did you spend a what? silver on Serena, by the way? She oh, cost I spent a gold, in oh, fact. Oh, heck yes. I totally yeah. forgot about that ability. Cheap Serena, just like in real Serena, life. She's, she's kind of <laughs> drunk. She's like, she's like, yeah, you know, all right. I'll come, I'll come help you fight, whatevs. Yeah, it's good, it's good. 
Okay. Uh, Serena so, is has has swiftly become one of my favorite reinforcements in in this set because if you can ever get yourself a threat detector, then you could send a homing missile Serena at any monster in the game. Serena threat detector is pretty good. <laughs> okay, Domestic says game needs more pokey. I knowing he's both in both decks of stuff. So, so yes, we 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 know Funny we story. know there's got to be pokey. We know we have to we know we have to pay fealty at the altar. Come on, we're we're okay, cool. The the, the, uh, the pixies are catching up to your where wherever your mouse pretends that it wants to be. So, guy tins and taverns is apparently going for two hundred dollars on eBay, which is weird because you can just go just buy it. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, <laughs> Uh, Pookie Hold is an on, item and great. a person and in a mech now, yes. Uh, <laughs> right, too mistake. I should sell my coffee on eBay and order a new one then. Yes, we, we have a we have an excellent arbitrage opportunity for anyone who wants. <laughs> I mean, part of me is like, how do I how do I make a drive through card entry that spits out onto eBay just to save people from these <laughs> scams. Right. And, like, and to save you like, the effort of I... having to actually do it, just, you know, just have it go straight from it from drive through to the person who buys it from you on eBay. Right, right. I mean, that's, that's the golden solution right there, along with, I guess, our our uh, Genevieve promo pack, which we still sell on our website on the yeah. merch page for $5 each plus a little shipping. And some people are like $20 on eBay. I'm like, it's still a bail. What? You guys are the worst. What the heck is wrong with you? You can just yes. have it. <laughs> you can just have it. Look on our okay. website. That's for a, my... one and a half lattes. <laughs> yeah. Not even one and a half in certain places. <laughs> Okay, taunt. Uh, so I have the turn marker. I could taunt something, but if there is no, uh, if there are no active monsters, then we can just fight the location monsters mm -hmm. as though they were active. So we're gonna do that. I, I like this. Plan. Liswick. Liswick. I may retire an item for the reinforcements, and I can recruit something. I'm gonna retire. Mm. I don't want to retire any of these. Actually, I I want to just get a kite shield. Uh, sorry, a or maybe a warhorn. Dang. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely do not want to retire any of these unless somebody, unless we think that the kite shield could go, should go away because none of us are going to actually get it. Um, ditch the kite shield. I think we can safely ditch the kite shield now that the amulet right. protection is there. We're going we're gonna to regret that choice. Face. Hey! Are we though? Are we though? God, get new axe! <laughs> Cog gets slightly better axe. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking of taking that myself. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, it's like the end of the, where the, the red mace? fern grows where you get a new puppy. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the mace. I'm gonna take the mace. That's okay. Fine. Then uh well that's that's something to retire. <laughs> True. See, I, I, I don't know. I still kind of like the tainted items. You know, I, the tainted one. Let me just say that the tainted blade is a lot of fun when your name is Gog and you break yep. it off so hard that Gog doesn't unlevel. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the mace on Liswick. I'm gonna have Liswick attack the orc warlord. Yeah, so get this that guy. Damage. This plus six. You don't like really? six is eight. Minus one is seven. Huzzah. That is all. Seems, seems good. Um, <clears throat> five, nine. I should save my rogue for this two-headed giant. Where did the blue dragon's breath come from? It was listed for $100. Uh, I don't remember seeing it in promo packs or Kickstarter. I don't remember. Oh, Rich is okay. Jen says it's a Organized play. Ah, play. organized play. <laughs> organized play. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't actually effectively harm these guys. I could roll and see if I get lucky, but. Well, uh, good news here. Good news, everyone. Oh, well, let's see. They don't have any immunity to green dice. No, they do not. Huh. Well. Green them up. 
green oh. dice in the face. Mmm, delicious, delicious green dice. So if I do, I have to use Serena's die and projectile Pookie's die on the the same thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's that's what I thought. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> you know, I think that's fine. I'm going to give Serena the attenuating ring. And we're just going to see what happens. Yeah. See what violent delights. What violent delights. You think I should hit the warlord or is he already a little bit too down? We want to. I think you should draw a card first. Well, yeah. okay, fine. And then probably nuke the troll. <laughs> All right, then let's nuke that troll. Yeah, but I get plus hero, so I get to I get to clean up my mess afterwards. Come on, eight, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, nine is pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, so with my new hero, I could. Oh, right, we don't even care because the Location's on a two-turn clock anyway. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. We worry about the location on my turn. You'll have a whole new hand by then, Jeff. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see here. <sighs> That's my blinds. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I just eat the illusionist and hope for the best. Yeah. You get a pile yeah. of com you get even more cards. <laughs> I sure do. Let's do it. Let's, let's he just keep fishing. I just keep fishing. I just I want something good. We're we're we were and hoping for for, for your staff, but that's fine. Just because playing Serena again would just be fun. Well, I mean, of course, but you know. Oh, see you later, Vortec. Bye, Vortec. Okay. Good. Uh, new sub joining in the future. Yes. Join us again. Mm -hmm. We'll see you soon. All right. Let's see if you can finish off that troll. Finish Bam. him. Finished. Four. Finished. All right. Three, four, good time. Three. Good enough. There's nine. Yeah. All right. Ten, eleven. And then uh, well, let's really have fun. Let's let's really let's let's party. Gurky. Let's gurky. And we'll give gurky an arm cannon. Wait. Snipe first. I know. Ish. Uh, who should I snipe? I think I should snipe. Somebody here, probably. Yeah. I think that airship pilot needs to get I like sniped. That. These are so our next snipe problems. them for two. Yeah. And then Gurky can fight anybody, so it doesn't matter. Uh. How's how's that pilot doing? How many? He how only many has hit? two left. So if you use the arm cannon, you can snipe him again. Yeah. Okay, that sounds great. TBH. Dead. Dead. <gasps> Owned. Wrecked. Can can I have a new funny hat? Yes. Yes. Get it. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, that that giant, I think, is who Gurky gonna fight. I like this plan because the giant is beating my face in. He's bad. Gurky. Uh, I'm on break. <laughs> we go That's to the mighty ten. To be good. All right. Hello, two headed giant. Do they have dichromatic eyes? That's actually heterochromatic. Yes. Heterochromatic? That's what I meant. Uh, Dichromatic would see the same color expression in the same space under different light. Okay, I've got a rogue and a hat. Um, what we got here? We got seven. Derek, have a good night. I could oh, I take it that. out now. Um, I mean, feel free, but I but think at this point I'm we're going to keep I, it I for dealing it, with my. Yeah, dad. I think I think we're just done in, in yeah. this turn. So. All right, cool. I played nothing. Damage is just the one of the one to the town. Show. Town's okay. Town will be fine. Clean up. I recruit this warhorn. This. 
Jeff, uh, we've uh, we've of... we've rocked somebody's world here. <gasps> I get out of. I actually am going to discard this bag of holding. What? Yep. Uh, so, uh, chat asks. If down arrow means do it now, how is taunting optional? Is that stated in the rulebook? Yes, it is built yep. into the taunt rules. Taunt um, means you Taunt may. itself is a may ability. So you must and... decide if you're going... So you must taunt now, but you could decide to choose to not actually resolve so the ability. You are not the first person to get confused by this. Down arrow does not mean you may do this ability now. Uh, down arrow means do this ability right now. Taunt means you may taunt something. Hey, look, it's me. Um, I'm hey, going yeah. to go rogue. Uh, I am electing not to taunt with the rogue. And then the rogue puts on this funny hat. <laughs> um, retire a thing. I'm going to retire this soldier out of my... Uh, is there... Oh, there is not a physical hero to replace. I'm starting to run low on heroes. I'll be fine. <laughs> Famous I mean, last words. You're, you're yep. going to recruit at the end of this round, so maybe yeah. get rid of that soldier anyway? Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the soldier yeah. anyway, because I, you know this apprentice is still better than... Build that deck. Um, and then uh, and then we, we go... I, so every time I see this item, I think of Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Next and I'm, time, and I'm, Gadget... <laughs> I helicopter hat into the two-headed giant <laughs> for way too much damage, and it's. Uh, I'm I'm so happy with the helmet of personal space. It's just so funny. It's it's so silly. It's so dumb. I love it. Don't change it. It's on my watch list. Yeah. <laughs> it's did really they reboot? Good. Seriously? Did they reboot in it, what? No, it said it's on. <laughs> Do you mean this card is on your watch list? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what? No way. This Going from hand fine. and discard is quite, is a little good. I think I'm yeah, feeling it's like just heroes. This yeah, like true. retiring retiring heroes is is precisely like <laughs> precisely wrong in this set. <laughs> true. And then we have a public development argument. Hey guys, <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Sometimes this is what game design is like. We're all a little tipsy and we're arguing about <laughs> one card. Uh, and then I got this Roboger that I can't do anything about. Uh, get him. So what? I'm just gonna... Hang on. <laughs> hang on, him, hang on. What's... Uh, okay, Kalichi Melder, Pookie, Liswick, Warhorn, Elven Bow. No, that's not quite right. I mean, there is a path where we maybe kill that guy it's not what if i project out pookied him just saying yeah i'm saying that that is the line i am considering and it's it's a little it's a little dicey but it might work <laughs> let's let's uh, take heart do you want to hang on so relevant to the question that was just asked in chat i don't want to taunt anybody okay that's fine I feel the like York Warlord's is, just hanging out. He's just hanging out. He's like, whatever, I'll be here when you guys get here. He's he's just standing there like punching the building and saying, guys, <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, <sighs> wait, where did the rest of my warband go? Hey, oh, hey buddy. <laughs> punch, punch. My knuckles hate this. All right, wait, let's flip see is then. not correct. Roll is correct. There we go. Seven is exact. Oh, but it's one short because of armor. Oh. Sadness. Seven minus one is six, so he doesn't drop his thing. Uh, and he needs eight. Uh, we can do we five we and that. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't make it. I don't think. Eh. Um. Uh, Liswick great axe. Liswick great axe. Good roll. Now Liswick great axe. Good roll is still not very good. Okay, yeah, I think we're just I think we're just eh, ow. I'm at four. It's okay. Okay, damage and then one to the location. I'll be Ooh. fine. Gosh, do I keep this pokey? It's a good question. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm gonna have my decider chip do that for me. <laughs> so so yes, both 
both yes. uh chris hollywood and the mystic have have points here like yes uh, uh hopefully knowing that taunt is optional will help you win games but demystic is also right <laughs> always off turn taunt like taunt when it isn't your turn is one of the most important abilities in this game mm-hmm. probably not the wrong. most important ability in this game not Zot, zot's right there oh yeah and he's cheap he's, get us he's, he's just a i mean he's not as good in my deck cheap zot but... cheap zot Jeez. I, no, take the Great Axe. Great Axe, oh, well, Great Axe is yeah. better than Zod in your deck, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, Great Axe. Besides, if 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 Jen gets a Zot, that's pretty good. There, there, Zot, Jen's, like, wealthy now. Like, there are many options for Jen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm looking at that Scepter of Majesty being like, ooh, girl. <laughs> Why you were in my day. Oh look, I drew my curse finally. Hey. Hey, there it is. Oh, I got the dagger. Hey. Daggers. Want 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 me solve problem? Mm-hmm. This goes here, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I, I oh wait, no, I can't solve this problem. This is a uniquely not gog solvable problem. Just saying, I got an elven bow. All right. Well, uh, uh, I've. I've got this one little acolyte, and she's going to do her best. Uh, let, there let's, she is. Let's see. Being like, I learned a spell. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We can solve this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jen's going to wow. play her acolyte. Jen, let, let yeah. Jen have her. Let Jen's right, acolyte right. have her moment. My my moment here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to poke the Gizmoblin for a single damage. <laughs> Every damage matters. Cool. Yeah, I'm not going to get anything out of the drunken gearbox because I've had all these funny hats. <laughs> <laughs> I've already mulched up all the people in my deck. God not understand why insurance man angry at him for funny hat collection. <laughs> okay, I'm playing Liswick. Uh, you may retire an item from the reinforcements. Bye bye, Tainted Blade. Yeah, it seems Bye-bye. good. Oh, uh, I got to do the thing because these things are are just black featureless cubes for you. I I uh, forgot that I have no coins left, so I may not ret- uh, retire anything. Um, okay. However, oh, what man, I'm going to do is... Them for money so fast. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Oh, that doesn't work. Dang. Screw it. Uh, I'm still gogging. Yeah, that's what? fine. With the dagger. And, uh, and something else. And so this will be for four plus this. Yep. And I'm smacking them both. Hang on. And I'm breaking, I'm breaking my hat while I retire. discard this uh, guy. Yes. Breaking the hat. Um, I won't even roll the green die because it doesn't matter. Because it's a zero. <laughs> I'm so emasculated right now. Gog Five. does seven. Three, four, five. Oh, six, seven, because you're <laughs> yes, because you're hmm. smashing it. Yeah. Seven is exaxes. Mm-hmm. And then there's two health left on the airship pilot. Nice. Um, I'm gonna. Okay, so can I have this? Um, yes. Yeah, if you want it. Idea. Oh, uh, Chris Hollywood. Uh, of... Important question. Did you fix your screen freezing issue from a while ago? Yes. So. I had to go into my video card settings and and tell, well, in Zoom and like tell Zoom not to use the same the same chip as TSIM uses. And once I did that, everything was fine. Huh. Yep. Okay. So here's what I'm actually doing now. I'm giving Lizwick this hook staff that I just got, and I'm taunting the orc warlord. Oh, damn it. Taunting. The orc Everything warlord. but the orc warlord. Taunting the orc warlord, which means I can't draw cards, but that's whatever because oh, I can't draw cards. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm still. It's, I'm still. It's probably doing it. I'm fine. Still, I'm still doing. Darn. It. So uh, each player, each draws, player a card. draws draws a card and then may retire a hero from the hand or discard pile. I draw nothing because orc. Doink. Then I retire this acolyte that I don't want. I, I have a short sword in my hand now. I have a short sword. Some. 
Spooky skulls. And a great Every adventurer axe. has like one in their inventory, right? Uh, uh, not anymore. Uh, both Liswick and Gog start with two short swords. Well, all right. Hashtag. I said at least. Hashtag. <laughs> oh, so, then you are true. Correct. All right. Okay, then. Liswick. Liswick punches this dude for uh for, for yellow at least two. two. Yes, for yeah. Three. Overkill. No Wrecked. kill like it. No mm -hmm. kill like it. Who wants a hooked staff? I already got one hooked staff. Do you want a hooked staff? Um, yeah, I could take it. Yeah. Gog's well, going to be dual wielding without the dagger soon. Neat. <laughs> okay, well then, good. Damage. Clean up. Clean up. Dagger, you did You did your job. I am, I am useless until I draw. So recruit Jen. Uh, it's on you guys now. Uh, I mean, most of the stuff's almost dead. Uh, golly, golly. Ooh. Yep. This game is Do too I... long. People are gonna uh, people are gonna like go and withdraw their pledges from Kickstarter because I'm like this game is long and stupid, and I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. Well, I I want the beautiful stick. It it is a beautiful stick. Wait. So hang on. Did you just pay silver for that? Yeah. Oh, you pay gold for the items. Oh, it's heroes. For the hero. Heroes run. All right. Thank you. Thank last, you for last space me for making place. a dumb mistake. This one does items. This one does heroes. Yeah. Got it. Yoink. Well then, I've paid the correct sum now. Yes. And can bank in my hand to use that mar marvelous scepter, majestic even. Yes. Doink. All right. I'm gonna do. A I get this tabley cleanup stuff. No, no yeah, magic I'm heroes. Boy. I made a mistake. Oh, also, we succeeded a second time. <laughs> <laughs> Came in a bit late for the start. Did you make any fun times from Gen Con? Well, I mean, we had fun at Gen Con, but I mean, basically, we were like in our booth, like working the whole time. Like, yeah, we don't. Uh, you know, people who run game companies do not get to like you know have fun at Gen Con, except in yeah. so far that it's fun to like talk to people and see people and so. I yeah. I, I did a little bit of shopping. Um, yeah. I, I wasted some birthday money on a bunch of miniatures. Um, yeah, I but spent... that's not a waste. It's birthday money. <laughs> I mean, exactly. I'm supposed to use it frivolously. That's the point. Um, I got a set of cats and catacombs miniatures. So they're little kitties with D&D &D classes. I love them. <laughs> uh, and then I got some some weird miniatures. I don't play their games. I don't, I don't play any miniatures games, but I like the minis. I just <sighs> I have a problem. All right, I have a handful of items. Punch my orc warlord, or I'm going to die. I also All have right. a handful of items. <laughs> Good news, everyone. You have hero? Here come Eve. Here she comes it's not to your turn. draw the cards. Hang on, if it's not your turn. Yep, all right, all right. Before I play the thing, dupe. Oh, look at that. Well, I know what you're discarding. Uh-huh, you sure do. <laughs> you're just a wizard at that. Huh. So it has, let's see, it's at, it's at seven damage. So, so you if need you can to do, do four. four. If you can do four, you're good. All right. So so maybe I shouldn't Scepter of Majesty this guy. As long as you don't roll snake eyes, you're the big damn hero. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, here we go. But, you know, there's backups. So Yeah, I've, I've got plus hero going on here. So like, even if. Yay, hey. guys. You're my hero, Eve. Yay. Did I ever know you? I Am suspect. I yes, and at this point, I think we just say go. Yeah, that seems smart. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to play this just to get him out of my hand. Oh, no, you'll need him uh... for my turn. Oh, all right. That's right. <laughs> I, I thought that we could hit them, but all right, cool. Uh, Not the ones oh, in yeah, front of me. Sure. Unless he taunts them over, no. but then it'll punch him through. Because we're not going to add up to... Not doing that. Yeah. The lethals. 
Image cleanup. Uh, I recruit. I cannot recruit anything. I am out of coins because Liswick. Yes. Uh, Liswick. Liswick burns hot and fast. Mm-hmm. That's Discard. Kind of cool, actually. Draw. Oh, uh, <laughs> this deck. This deck is not very good. Uh oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, you However, want to solve my revoker problem? Yeah, I'll, I'll solve. I'll solve your problems. Don't worry. Um, okay, I can retire an item from the. Yeah, I retire this tainted wand. Yeah, yeah. I recruit nothing because I'm out of coins. I give myself a. Uh, a it's got six. Dagger and a, hmm. uh, crap, six and there's that. Um, dagger and. Base Elven yeah. bow is strictly better. No, because the Elven bow is like it has two armor. It's, <laughs> oh, it's yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, they're they're equivalent. They're equivalent. So yes, I think this this does yeah this save, does save the Elven bow for yeah for the other thing. So yellow, yellow five. Here we go on the revoker. Yellow, yellow six. Six, six. Yep. Oh, six then plus minus six is one, twelve. Yeah. Minus one is eleven. That's plenty. Is good. Yep. Is plenty. Knocked it right out of the park. All right. Um, I'm probably yeah, going to be buying oh. a magic hero, so this isn't wasted on me. Get it? Um, yeah. Would you like it? Nah, take it. Okay. Wow. Crossing the streams. Well, I mean, it's going to go away immediately. Yeah. Because uh, Jen's going to be going first. Um, Jen, do you want that apprentice, or shall I go ahead and take it? Take it. Link. Be physical. Dang it. I mean, that's mm. it's not bad, though. Mm. Whoa, Jen just... Jen just made another quiet sound in her uh, in her microphone. Just decided, oh no, I need to turn way up. Great, love it. Thanks. Hopefully that uh, noise will go away really shortly. It did last time. Uh, all right. Well, I'm buying that Ohava. Uh, remember, Ohava's... Zot's also discounted. Oh. But if you're not taking the Zot, I'll take the Zot. Uh, the Ohava's not bad in your deck. Uh. Uh-uh. I, I, I'm basically the GOG roadshow. I am GOG. I'm here to apply GOG levels of damage, and that's it. Oh, Zariah. Oh. Nice. There she is. Oh. We got all sorts of good stuff happening here. Uh huh. Um, I think. Is going fishing better than the splash damage? I think the going fishing is better than the splash damage. Come over here, Zariah. All right, I get rid of this. I get rid of this. Uh, Jen has a coin to spend still. Yeah, and I think I'm going to spend it on a water mage. And I'm going to get rid of this hook staff in the hope of top decking uh, Claymore. Hey, Tiny, we're, uh, we're in it to win it. Hardcore Tiny. mode goes on. Basically, we've been doing a lot of chatting and not a whole lot of, you know, playing the game. Yeah, somebody needs to start shouting less talky, more rocky, but it's not been me, so uh, it hasn't happened. Jeff, do I keep this hook staff in my hand, or do I try for the one in one in turn five for a better? It's going to be uh, Jen's turn. I keep the hook staff because I'm going last. Keep yes, keep keep the taunt. If it's not going to be your turn, keep the taunt. Yeah. Uh, Do I got to discard down to? Yes. All right, cool, cool. I was but like, I mean, you've got. Oh. Jeff, you are so rich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was I was copying this. And copying all, the coins too. all right, we are going to be fighting Gromits. He's in the wrong trousers. It's, oh, no. it's up, 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 up. <laughs> Uh, oh, I look at Jeff trying not to get sued. Uh, chat already drew that connection earlier. Yes, I know, I know. 
Uh, okay, so Gromit we did that. Gromit is on location. Uh, heroes with contraptions have Pierce one at the Copper Forge Inventors College. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gromit's special, all right. Okay, oh, then we get. I'm bad at dealing seven, with Gromit. <laughs> seven on the location. Mm-hmm. One, two, Woo. three, spicy. Four, five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. And five on each of us. Thirteen help. That's the location. wrong deck. Ooh. Thirteen. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's bad. One, two, Uh-oh. three, four. No, we got a pending ambush effect. Ugh, oh. oh, I don't like it. Oh, it's happening again. Three, four, five. No. Okay, so ambushes. So here, this. This flimsy automaton gets a flimsy thing. Okay. And then we're each getting two curses. Player, each player gains. And drawing so card. one of us, we're we're getting one curse, which I think goes in our discard pile, and then one of them goes into our hand. Oh wait, no, draws a card, then gains a curse. Got nice. it. Dart. So we are oh. curse rich, but also card wealthy. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, the, and Gromit has 35. What's points. the things we like least about this game? Hmm. Uh that is the a curses. <laughs> that is a that is a sucker question that we should not answer. <sighs> no, Tiny was like the curses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's a fair. What do I, I like least about this game? Losing. Uh, <laughs> boom! Nailed it. Um, things that make my machine You know what? The things that I like least about this game is how few people actually know about it and how great it is. Bam! Nailed it Bam. again. And I did get a haircut. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I gave myself a nice close buzz down before going to Gen Con so that... Uh, Basically, so that my life was easier for the week. So Vortec, Vortec left. So now we have a, now we have a tiny to, uh, to to keep the chat and, and and Chris Hollywood and the Mystic is still here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So uh, I I don't remember this scenario. Where's the scenario card? Do we have to kill everything or just? Um... Uh, it is Gromit and all other enemies. Okay, we have to hit everything. Everything. All right. Everything. Everything. All the things. Mm-hmm. All right. It's my turn. I got I got these guys in front of me. I'm going to kick their butts. It's going to be awesome. How bad is it if the town explodes? It's bad. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, harsh. Harsh. Oof. Okay, yeah. well, uh... How about you want me to Elven Bow or Claymore or what? I might Claymore. Yeah, get in there with that Claymore. That that shit's funny and effective. I mean kittens. Kittens. Oh man, I made it so long without swearing. But um but you're but I did. You're Jen. I can't you're Jen and, and you can't do that. <laughs> I cannot swear. I just can't okay. not. Uh, retire, retire two items for the reinforcements. Any may recruit items from the reinforcements. Um, okay, I'm going to retire the broadsword, mm-hmm. and I'm going to leave this. Jen, do you want a holy relic, or should I get rid of it? I don't think we're going to have time for it. Yeah, yeah holy it. relic goes away. Uh, I get the mace. Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, give Liswick oh, a. That's, right. that's money. That's a good one. Give Lizwick a claymore. I punch. You got a tank? Uh, no. Um, then I hit the techno mage. Get him. Or the ogre. So I have three Medium. taunts this turn. If I blow well, my entire hand. Whew. That that might go to the location, but um, I'm gonna punch. <laughs> the taunt is optional. Thank you, Hollywood. <laughs> Trying to help us out. Love it. <laughs> also, Tiny, I, I imagine that Facebook Moms Against Slugfest, led by Moms 
Gog's mom knits me a really uncomfortable sweater. Right. It reminds me not to swear. <laughs> it says don't swear in giant awkward lettering on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to hit the ogre. You know what? I'm going to hit the ogre. Get him. This might be a mistake. Do it. Seven, eight, nine. So eight. That's, uh, there might be regrets in my future. And then splash two is there and there. And no. All right. So I Head think. Dual wield. See, this is why we're just trying to get the game done and over with. I'm going to. just totally effed up. I think I'm <laughs> going to play Ohava with the Scepter of Majesty. Who's in your discard? Oh, Serena's in your discard. Serena's in my discard pile. (laughs) 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 Here she comes. (laughs) Here she is. Hello. I'm going to give her a short sword just to be funny. (laughs) 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 It's like a toothpick to to Serena. Tiny says, I don't know why, but now that I'm seeing the rogue character, he looks like he's a Gurky upgrade. Yes, we we were actually kind of... uh, all amused Gerky. by the amused by the rogue's similarity to Gurky himself and in, in the yep. yep. We should probably Punch stop things. making our, our background rogues redheads. <laughs> probably, <laughs> yeah. pro- probably. All right. Well, uh so Ohava is gonna screw up that troll, I think. Okay. Seems like a good plan. Uh, yeah, I like this plan. Oh, he's Nine. thoroughly Nine plus, plus a lot. Twelve. Yeah, he did. Dead troll. That's an ex troll. Good job, Bohava. And then Serena is gonna mop up somebody, probably ogre. the ogre. So the ogre's got eight damage on it. So yes, this will probably this will mop the ogre. Probably. Four. That's the minimum. Five, that's six, a minimum. Seven. Level. Seven. Six. That is Xaxes. Yeah. Xaxes. No wasted effort. Mm -hmm. Xaxes. All right then. Okay. Town's going to, town's at 13. It's bad to be the town. Should I, should I taunt somebody off the town? Like that hulking monstrosity? Five, six, seven. That does that, that buys us a turn. Let's do it. Buys See, now is the time well, when I'm making I, my I have heroic a suggestion. What you got? Um uh you taunt for that Gorgon and then Gog swings an axe at the Gorgon because when I equip the axe I take your techno mage. Do it. That's uh yeah, that's probably fine, I guess. Gog equip axe. Yoink a techno mage. And I debate about this hook staff. Do you think we need this hook staff to taunt another thing off the town? Are we going to be able to save my butt? If I I draw more attention to it. Well, I'm I'm gonna get a whole like, you know, I'm gonna get Liswick back, for example. Yeah. But Mm -hmm. uh but my deck so be aware my deck really isn't very good. That's the that's the danger of Liswick. She lets you get great stuff early. But then you have a deck full of items. <laughs> yeah. But now there's there's guys like an assassin or Frank showing up. That's true. Frank would be Frank would be real good in this deck. All right. I'm gonna remember you're more we're, times we're in the time. early times of a scenario encounter now. So well, maybe Liswick's got a little bit of gas left. Early yeah. times are the hard I'm, times. I'm gonna <laughs> equip this hook shot and I'm gonna take uh the yeah. the, the wimpiest one. Get him. Yep. Good, good. There. I've, I've bought, I think, two churns now. Okay, beat the bejesus out of the Gorgon. Now, Gog, at level three, doesn't break the stuff unless he has to swing harder, so I get to roll first. Oh, I should have my Evilly Illusionist oh. level three card. After rolling. Okay, yeah. Hold on while that's, I fix- that's, a re- that's a recent change. Ooh. Seven, Seven plus five is exact C's. I break nothing. <laughs> Nailed it. Exact C's. I, you know what? I'm still going to break this hook shot because I don't want to draw it again. Fair right. Shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I, I've already it. used it. I don't whoa, need whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Guys, the Eve ability is hilarious. I love it. <laughs> After rolling, whoever decided this is really smart. <laughs> Why, thanks. thank you, chat and Jeff. <laughs> Uh. so jeff jeff came up so 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 jeff came up with the original idea for the ability sam came up with the idea of level threeing it to after so yes so we'll see if anybody like you know notices that difference yeah uh, when they read the, uh, the, the big thing is i really pretty... liked the 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 story of of gogs just swinging stuff so hard he's breaking it it's so, so it's like he should just do that at every level and then at level three, he should be able to do like like it's that anime swing, oh, and the man. bad guy's like, "Ha! My armor blocked it!" And then Gog screams and then swings harder somehow after he swung. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, so wait, are we? You're you're going to clean up? So yes. one, two, three, four damage to the town to the location. I get off scot free as Thank usual. Uh, Ooh, Courage heroes with contraptions now. have Pierce one while we're at the Inventors College. Yeah, that's true. Just as a a note, an important note. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no contraptions right now. Uh, well, hopefully soon. Oh man, do I do I buy an assassin? This seems kind of cool. That seems kind of cool. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Uh, Ruby Knight, hey -o, hello, welcome. We are we are still at it. We're we're getting toward the end of this game of Battle yeah. of Greyport, and then we're gonna go and have like you know dinner and things. I'm gonna walk down the street and get myself a donut. Flack, what's these heroes? Why weren't any of you showing up last year? <laughs> cause cause screw you specifically, Sam Waller. That's why. I'm over here with okay. like also ridiculously good Zoraya and Apprentice. But I could have uh, had a fleck. You could have had a fleck. And fleck's always saying that. Yeah. Could have been fleck. Could have been fleck. Okay, so this is the turn that we mostly don't care about, and we should be spending this turn figuring out how to solve Sam's problems. Because yes. he's got mm -hmm. lethal on board, and I do not. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to... Uh, so I think I'm actually going to just Elven Bow and then No, okay. I can at least do this. Soldier Warhorn. What does it look like? Uh, oh, more gas. Hounds folk. Village Smithy, Village Smithy, Village Smithy. <laughs> but my deck is really bad. Um, but everyone's got a thing to wield. <laughs> my deck is really bad. My deck is really bad. Um, okay, so I guess, um, are we saving that? We can't use both of these things on your turn. So, Townsville gets the mace. Uh, um, I guess with, given how spread out I am, I try to punch the knife. Do we have any chance of killing this ogre this turn? I kind of doubt it. Your hand, yeah, your hands are bad. There's, I mean, Rage my hand bad. could get there. I'm so Sam has a reasonably good deck. I, Sam has a reasonably good deck. I have a deck of all items. Jen has a deck of all like heroes, and so, but so betwixt us both, you see. Um, mm. But I think, ugh, gross. I think we mostly just don't care. Um. Instead of the mace, equip the elven bow and deal with stuff on my pile. I mean, well, I'm gonna. It, it's oh, and should then I give you an assassin to to help you out a little bit, no. or should I save that gas for Sam? No, it, yeah, Sam, Sam is right. We should just ignore my turn completely. I'm gonna elven bow an an a, a monster of Sam's choice over here. Clay golem. Great. Then I. Punch Naga, punch Naga for three, and then I suggest that nobody else do anything this turn. Unless, unless well, Jen maybe does something because you literally have too many heroes. Yeah, like here's an Acolyte, and she she hits the Naga for one. 
great. She does her best. Dang it. Great. <laughs> then then so we're hard. done here. We're done here. I'm uh, okay. I'm taking three damage. <laughs> Just throw okay. the items to Jen's heroes. Obviously, the location is so much easier when you cheat. Damage. We clean up. Uh, I recruit um, Frank. Yeah, uh, Frank's, <laughs> Frank's good. I discard this stuff. I draw on this <sighs> three of these, and I pass this, and now we now we get to the real turn. Yeah. Uh, Check this turn. Now the game actually begins. I no. yeah, I have no I have no plus hero, so um, draw a hero, draw a card. Yeah. Village Smithy, Village draw Smithy, Village card. Smithy. I don't taunt. think I taunt. I think that would be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Since you ha already have lethal on board, he gets a claymore. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put a shield on. I mean, we'll just spam out the rest of the hand. So I got mean, a shield. Get your shield. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to spam out the rest of my hand. I want to see if Frank gives me a better weapon. Well, you know, I don't know if Frank's the correct play. <laughs> uh, well, whether or not Frank is the cor correct play depends on other plays, but if you want to wait, then I'm going to just go ahead and play Frank because it's a perfectly fine play. Yeah. So, Frank, each player draws a card. Get it. Ooh. Oh, plus hero. This just solves all of my problems. No, roll first. <laughs> Always roll. Uh, also, I need to choose a, an immediate ability from another hero in play. So should I taunt oh, somebody? You could taunt, actually. The rogue. Yeah. Who should I? I should taunt. I should taunt the clay golem, shouldn't I? That probably uh, makes we're going to kill the clay golem. You sure? Yeah. All it's right then. This guy. Let's, sure. Let's, let's take this guy off your plate. Oh, town. I mean. Town's going to be fine. It's got five health and two damage coming towards it. And well, four damage because Gromit's there. Four damage coming toward it. We Let's leave the town alone for now. Uh, okay. okay. I, can, <laughs> I, can, I can still taunt something. Don't worry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can taunt. Dear Lord, no. <laughs> yes. Mystic can be an off turn taunt card. Flavor text always off turn taunt. Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Save a kill spell to deal with this guy. So if any of you played Magic back in the days of um, Unhinged and Unglued and all of those, there was, there was this one sequence of cards that would give you penalties if you said certain words like deal or, or uh, kill or um, spell or things like that. And one, one of the cards made you read its flavor text and the flavor text was save a kill spell to deal with this guy. But of course, save, kill, spell, deal were all penalty words. Yeah, yes. So that was, that was very cute. <clears throat> I did hear the Magic the Gathering news where the next unset is not Silver Border. What? Huh. Interesting. Yeah. All right. The, the, the magic okay. community is like, ah, uh, no. It's uh, so so. Ma I played I played magic yesterday for the first time in quite some time, and it was, uh, it was you know, magic's pretty fun. I, I still I'm like. Gonna be I right like back. Magic. Well, Sam decides whether to roll dice. Yeah, I'm gonna roll Where dice gonna... on on this clay goal. All right, do it. Let's see if I could just roll a three. If I roll a one, then yep. All right, then I kill it the rest of the way. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then I've got this still. Um... Okay, well, Frank. Frank, uh, Frank, good. Um, so, yeah. what's it? What are you? Okay, you got a shield. You got a shield. So, we're no longer lethal on board? Correct. Okay, what are you hitting? The automaton. Flimsy? Great, hit it. Because it's the thing that is immune to the rest of the ability. Dang it! Seven by Perfectly one. Wrong. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. Does Does Eve just Coffee. swing now Paste. and say "eff it"? Uh, or, oh no! Or or she's got some some hero stuff lined up. So or Gurky even. Yeah, Gurky. yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's Gurky it. Let's Gurky it up, Cute. and he snipes too. Would Gurky you like a that, fancy vest? You want that? Yeah, uh, sure. Vest? 
<laughs> yeah, wh whatever. What's what's going on here? Shield one, huh? All right. I mean, yeah, if, you, if you equip it, I'll, I'll go ahead. Play and... it. Yeah. On that gurky. See, guys, get this is something shield. you can do. I get a nozzle shield. Get the and... nozzle shield. I'm probably gonna go ahead and take this hulking monstrosity off. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Uh, but let's I'll see do that through. after other things. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, I guess it's time for Eve to roll dice. Mm -hmm. On what? Uh, there's eight life left on the Techno Mage who has no armor, and there's uh -huh. ten life left on the Troll with one armor. All right, gonna hit the Techno Mage. Attack now! <laughs> Three, four, All right, five. That's five. <laughs> like that. And then uh, Gurky. Half the time, Gurky kills this guy. Half yep. the time, Gurky kills this guy. Here we go. Go on, do it. It was half Yay! the time. Half the time. Good. Now taunt something. Yes. Um, yoink, come here, hulking, hulking dude. Man, I thought I wasn't going to make it through this cup of socket. And yeah, yet. I gotta, I'm going to get more shortly. Um, okay, uh, so what we're doing next is uh, Kunai taunting the war... Um, I taunted a warlord once. It went really I awesome. Regret taunting that, no that warlord. But um, I'm doing it. Taunting right. the warlord. Get okay. it. Uh, then uh, Frank bashes the troll. Uh, some troll on troll violence. Oh, maximum well. eight, ten. Ah, uh, <laughs> yep, almost, almost enough. Almost, but that's fine. I've got two armor. Um, I've got. Yeah, there's like there's no point in me playing more, even though I could. Yeah, th there's no point in me playing more, so I I I'm done. I think we're fine. Shield so goes back damage, into here. Damage. So the shields go away. Uh, Gromit does two to the location. Uh, clean up. Um, I don't believe I need this rogue anymore because I just ha added a Fiona. To oh, shoot, but there's that guy. <sighs> Fiona's good. good luck. I still vote Fiona. I do too. I'm about to shuffle. I've got three curses in my deck. I'm taking Fiona because Cleave, built in Cleave. Cleave, good. Hey, hey it's Gog. me. Get out of here. Gog's, Gog's already in the game, so we <laughs> get rid of it and we get a barbarian. Hey, so, look, right. it's like little me. All right. And oh, right. Heavy shield. Sweet. Uh, three. Did go. the town take its damage? Nope. Yes. It did? Yes. Yes. I need to upgrade it here. Down to three. Oh, I drew two of my three curses, and then my wand, which is the fourth curse in my deck. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, I drew terrible. Oh, boy. So I guess we're not taunting Gromit this round? Well, uh, Gromit doesn't harm me at all if we fail. Oh, but we get items if we do. It's true. I mean, I don't want any of these. Although I might want some of these. Eve certainly does. I, I, I mean, I'm the active player, <laughs> so I guess if I taunt Gromit, then yeah, uh, yeah, it's, hooray. It's up to you. Let's live dangerously. Also, yeah! come on. We want to. Dangerous. Don't we want this game to be over? Let's go. <laughs> yes, I, let's, I need dinner. Let's All F right. around and find so out. For dinner. Reveal three. Uno. Revolve, dos. Reveal five, isn't it? Oh, yes, no, it's one. three. Oh. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of another card. Okay. Card, Spoilers. Arm and cannon, gold plated choice. armor, flux calculator. I vote flux calculator. <clears throat> These are not very good. <laughs> um, I mean, gold would be good if there were more gold things out, but there aren't. 
I it's, mean, it's probably, having, yeah. You should take this, Jeff, and you should get a gold. Here's why you have less money than the rest of us, period, whether or not it's gold. Yeah, that's that's not a bad argument. Except my logic. It's good. If, if I take an arm cannon, I can Fiona arm cannon heavy shield mm. for, a, for a pretty decent cleave. It's not a great cleave, but it's a decent one. It'll pop Gromit and Naga on Jeff's turn. I vote Sam's plan. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Jed. No, it's fine. Salvage the rest. I, I submit to Sam's galaxy brain moments. Yeah. <sighs> All right, well. So, so it's uh, approaching 10 p.m. Jen's time. So yeah. we're going to have to... Yeah, I mean, the quality dairy where I'm going to go and buy donuts is open till 2 a.m. So <laughs> there you go. I, nice. I could do this all night, uh, but not until morning. Um, so let's go Water Mage Assassin. Yeah. Seems like a good time. That's, that's a lot of ignoring armor. And then I, I give the Assassin an arm cannon. Yeah. Plus two. Well. No? Uh, and I should choose to snipe two or plus two. And I think plus two is what I want. Yeah. And uh, I think I'm going to have the water mage hit the monstrosity and our assassin hit Gromit? Can't. They, they Can't. Both have Gromit's Gromit. a tank. Oh, all right. Then then, then Gromit's going to suck up some additional damage. Uh, and Gog's super sad that he can't do, actually do, hurt do, do, do. Gromit. All right. Well, uh, Gromit hit for one. Dink. And then this plus two, four. Tiny didn't read today's update. So six, so five. And no, we're not going to read. We're not going to read what you said. <laughs> six, the assassin ignores armor. Okay. I'm oh, yeah, that's right. It is six. Ha -ha. Take that. You know what? Uh, winner. Okay, we're lethal on my turn. We are not lethal on Jen's turn. So I do not play the covert operative yet. I play Lizwick the Lizwick. I can retire two items from the for reinforcements and I can recruit something. Uh, we're retiring a freezing staff. We're, ah, oh, geez. Oh, boy. I'm retiring. Ooh. I'm yes. thinking of retiring the Wand of Flame, actually. Go for it. Sam, is that crazy? Yeah, I think that's the smart move because I think the smart, the correct play for Jen is probably Amulet of Protection unless it's better than that. Jeez. I oh, really? recruit nothing. I want none of these. So uh, then I play a... Uh, then I play... You know what? Actually, then I play the Bag of Holding mm -hmm. and, uh, and the Short Sword... And a bash grommet. Yeah. Yellow plus five. Seven. Minus one is six. Hooray. Dude. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> ding. Ding. There we go. Okay. All right. Wait, somebody else do stuff. Uh, I hold my play till your turn. Cool. I think that the round of this turn is done then. Indeed, Arino. Indeed. All right. You're doing so... nothing? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All right. So I take three. Take three. Whoop. Clean up. Oh, I can awesome. recruit. I can recruit the lowest cost item for free. So, Jen, here, have an attenuating ring for free. In your discard for free. All right, and then I'll buy the Amulet of Protection because that seems like a good time. Well. Oh, suddenly uh, Scythe's like, hey, you forgot about how good I am right now. Oh. I'm a mace withdraw. Okay, <laughs> like, so now but this I can't comes over buy here. You. I don't have you yet. This guy comes with it. I have lethal on board, so let's yeah. kill stuff. Heavy. Hey. Oh, hey. hey. Um, oh. Gromit Warlord. That's a plus two. Yes, great. Uh, 
We're, we're fishing. Go on. Roll good. Uh, wait, no, no. I taunt the warlord with Fiona, and I grommet Naga. Fine. Okay. Right. Was that enough? <laughs> oh, shit. That's not enough. Oh, I, I don't have enough to get to the ogre anyway. Whee! Come on! Big numbers! Medium Seven numbers! plus two is nine. So, eight. Oh. <clears throat> so, nine is very wrong. Uh, here. And then nine goes to eight on Gromit. Gromit the Foul. And then... I play, oh, I can draw cards now. Okay, I play Covert Operative. Mm -hmm. So I get another shield. I draw a card. I uh, uh, can retire a hero. I'm going to play a mace. I'm going to bash for <clears throat> this. Woo! Maximum nine, so eight more. And then we're going to oh, so figure this out. Uh, so, yeah, there's a 10 for these two fives. All right, well, I think it's Eve time. Sure. 29. We've got to get to six more. Wait, if it's not your turn, draw two cards. Yep. All right. Here we go. Jen. The, uh... And then discard one. Goodbye, soldier. You were nice while and you then you can copy somebody's something. Hmm. Could copy I think I'm going to copy Fiona's... Oh, it's got to be a... It's got to be an immediate ability, so it's either taunt or... Or retire two items from the reinforcements, and then I can. No, th nice. this is it's, this was not played this hand. This it one is... or that one. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, shield one, draw a card. Sounds really good. Yeah, it's pretty okay. good. Then you play the amulet, and I get another shield. So now, mm -hmm. yeah, now I don't. Now I don't. Now I don't give an. F now your shield as hell. Uh, Pookie is a, a cinder. Thing I think if you back to the Kickstarter, indeed, I have a copy nope. of Cinder with Pookie in it. <laughs> Pookie likes uh, long moonlit walks <clears throat> and, and carrots uh, and ale <laughs> and heating your face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see. There's that. There's that. Mm, uh, just... And then, and then let's see. Dual wield uh, the scepter of majesty. I think is yeah, the, the plus four is probably probably well, that, that's that's lethal now yeah well let's let's roll some dice and find out let's see two yellow <laughs> okay. one green i want the pleasure of rolling the dice i know i know i know <laughs> give give me the dice roll i think i think we're gonna do it guys <laughs> uh by the way this six is a zero but you yeah uh, but so well it's still it's now it, it is oh yeah it is still enough the, it's still a plus six yes yeah so all right we defeated the grommet oh i haven't been updating grommet's health this whole time <laughs> we didn't we also didn't uh remember the ability that nobody remembers yeah yeah oh all right, i we have to kill everything I, I else now we gotta so mop fast. up I feel like Jeff needs dinner, so we should just presume that we mop up. Uh, no, we're we're fine. We're yeah, fine. I think I oh, think we'll oh, be we able doing to this do dog? That. All right, all right, all right. Then Jeff uh... should take some heat off of me, and then. Uh, yeah, well, I can yeah. also play a Serena, and, and you know, <laughs> buzz saw through something. Here, I'll give her a short sword just for appearances. Zing! <laughs> <laughs> That's a dead dog. <laughs> Yep. Here we go. Let's find out how dead. It's uh, very pretty dead. <laughs> pretty dead. Pretty dead. Such <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh. Okay. Slices, my slices. Makes julienne fries. Uh, sure. I'll take your Hulk. I shield all the things. We're just passing that Hulk around. Yeah. Just back and forth, really playing with its feelings. <laughs> Clean up. I recruit. Is it taunt or is it tease? <laughs> <laughs> I recruit this barbarian. That's a good, that's a good, 
Good card. This card draw. This goes here. Sam is recovering from the Rona. Uh, so yes. he's he's fine, but but also he got a bad cough when I make him laugh too much. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna hit this orc warlord with with my lonely green die. Get him. I I I, I do five pretty goods. Do you miss success with this success of this kiss? Are you desperately trying to come up with a new expansion or just more stretch? Oh, just more stretch goals. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, no, no, we no. barely have brain space for that. Don't oh, you know, no. bug us. Who <laughs> 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 one thing at a time, everybody? We're we're only three people. Jeez, brah. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> uh, so so I have no items, but I'm gonna barbarian on both these dudes for Get this plus one. Rawr. Wow. <laughs> About I mean, one he dies. <laughs> oh, that is enough for the troll. Nice. Why? So this happens. Okay, there, there you go. Um, Should I collegium elder taunt the guy? Yeah, so I can draw cards and I'll kill him on your. I promise to kill him on your turn if you let me draw cards this turn. Do it. Hang on. Have so fun. wait, are you? Ta oh, uh, no, taunt him. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm taunting him, and then I'm gonna. Oh, that's so right. One, then I can't attack. Once you taunt I gotta do one, him, then you the can't. Yeah. Oh, it's so sad. Non-maximal. It's, it's okay. Yeah, we'll make a spike out of you yet, Jen. <laughs> oh, I want all the numbers. <laughs> Damage. Clean up. Get these cards out of here. Uh, oh, I, I did that ahead of time. I'm, I buy been, this thing. I've been playing a lot of Tunic, and I'm just desperate for that feeling of dominance, because Tunic hard. <laughs> And then four I just of these. want to really own a game with big numbers. Ruby Knight gets it. <laughs> okay. Are you in Next a bad way? Is... You're not in a bad way. Uh, I got lethal on board. Yeah, Tiny's onto something. The next stretch stretch goal should be lobster dinners. <laughs> just saying. Soraya. I mean, can that can we get that let stretch goal in like a couple of weeks after my taste buds come back? Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we don't have to do so, it immediately. By the way, Jen also has lethal on board, so uh -oh. we gotta like. You know, uh -oh. I, I'll, I'll solve the Jen problem and then Jen look at can these solve little, the you problem. And then you these can little solve babies the in my hand. I'm just gonna play with a little soldier, and then they're gonna hit the hulking monstrosity as hard as they can. Eh, what eh. The Zariah, draw me a card. Apprentice, draw me a card. Oh man, Day Mystics. Fun story. So I went from living in an apartment in Denver for like twenty five hundred dollars a month to living in a house in Michigan for like for less than that. For like twelve fifty a month, maybe thirteen fifteen hundred, right? And it's significantly more space. Like I'm here in an office, which means that the part of my bedroom, which would be my office, is actually a crafting table. And I'm like, 3D printer when though? Yeah. So, uh, poor Lord. Stay tuned. Roll it. Yeah, we're not. We're not going to hope for for Come on. wonderment. Oh yeah, though. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. Dog doesn't need items. Uh. <laughs> Go knock it. Go Zariah. Oh, and then, so that's three more two. to the to the other monstrosity. Once oh. the apprentice attacks. Um, I'm going to acolyte it for one more. When right. apprentices attack. I'm, I'm really leaning in. I, I just noticed that my head's really close to my camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, good. Five on this guy. Eve goes to one. Damage. Clean up. And I and I drew an amazing follow-up hand. So. <laughs> Don't tempt me, Tiny. <laughs> I like this job. Uh -uh. Jen. What? Take a damage. Recruit oh, a thing. Are you Move sure? on with the life. Yes. Fine. Stop paying attention to chat. But Tiny is fun. a distraction. I like them. <laughs> All right then, fine. Yeah. Y'all not taking Zot. I'm gonna take Zot and I'm gonna pay gold for it. Boom. Yeah. Calling it go. done. We're over here and now. Eve go back in my hand and then I draw three cards and it's very good. 
Mm-hmm. Boom. Uh, Taunt. Take this ogre. Guy. Yeah. I'm taking this one. Yoink. Got lethal on board. Dagger, Claymore. Go. Great. Hit me. Quit trying to hit me and hit How me. How could I possibly screw this up? <laughs> Let's find out. Cleave. Whee! Delicious cleave. Sixteen. Oh, that's not Everything's bad. dead. That's extremely good. <laughs> Curse smash. Everything's dead. Can we do nine? I cannot. Uh, Let's just say go. I uh, uh, Jen could. I, buy... I, uh, I could because uh, I could have Ohava bring Serena back again. And then Serena oh, nice. can then play again on my. Tree. I taunt the monstrosity. Yes, just in it. case. Do it. In case right. Serena whiffs. Here we go. So I'm going to have Ohava. And you know what? I like insurance here. So I'm going to give her a scepter of illusions. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't I don't want to lose. Uh, search. Yeah. Is Jen not already a miniature YouTuber? She's only about two inches tall on my monitor. No. Hey. <laughs> That's not nice. Oh, okay. Jen's yeah, very funny. sensitive about that, you guys. <laughs> I'm really short in real life. Guys. You guys. All right, All right let's, Hulk. Let's let's have Serena hit this guy. Come on. See if I, I can get to, these both. I want camera. to move to die from that spot for a reason. Boom. Six plus two miniature is eight. Jen's is, miniatures. Mm -hmm. That is not quite right, but once Ohava swings. Dun, da, da, da. It's going to be lethal when she rolls the dice. Screw it off. And, no, we, and we saved all the locations. That's true. We saved all the locations. Um, and uh, yeah. So, so now you get a feel for the game. And when you're not like, you know, talking to chat for, you know, two hours out of your three hour stream, the uh -huh. game doesn't actually take three hours. When oh, you play the I game know. with the three people that sat down to play the game instead of the three people and then the dozen other people ask questions. Right, right. Like if you're, having, <laughs> if you're having a party and like three people were like, I don't want to play that game. And then their game ends early and they're like, what is this? How do you play it? What are the rules? <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, so what? Who's your favorite is? needle? What what's your, what they're saying is chat. It's all your fault. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but no, uh, thank you, thank you for joining us. Um, let's see, uh, playing games about having fun. Seems like you guys have fun. Yes, Kellen's actually based on Jen. Yes, okay. Um, but but yeah, that that's the game. That's the uh, that's sort of the that's sort of the get the feel for this new set scenario. Um, during the course of this campaign, we plan to do some different the uh copper forgy things what for you mm -hmm. so so keep uh keep staying tuned thursdays at you know same same slug time same, same slug, slug station yeah, um yep and uh and yeah uh yeah. But right now we're gonna get some food and uh jen's gonna get some donuts and uh mm -hmm. it'll be good um stay tuned uh to the kickstarter as well thank you all for backing if you haven't backed go do it uh if you think of questions ask them in in kickstarter or ask them next week in chat yeah uh but uh and yes chris hollywood taunt is optional so but always so off turn all. taunt <laughs> always off turn taunt uh so yes but uh but why wise words for for uh battle for Brayport. first so, time thank you all. chad bye, yeah. bye. <laughs> thanks uh thanks for joining us we'll see you next time bye bye